Shame yourself for all those sleepless nights. Oh, and hey, yeah, I got a great Appa Kappa for you. As well as Call of Duty Mobile. What? What? It's time for iOS today. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. iOS today is brought to you by Taylor Store. Taylor Store makes high-quality dress shirts that are fully customizable by you. With their exclusive trial price, each new customer gets their dress shirt starting at $39. From the basic essentials to the most high-end details, Taylor Store has you covered. Go to taylorstore.com slash iOS today. Use the offer code iOS today. And by Aftershocks, unbelievably comfortable open-ear headphones. Hear music and crystal clear phone calls like never before. Visit iostoday.aftershocks.com and use the code iOS today for $50 off the tech bundle. And by Gazelle, the trusted online marketplace for buying and selling used devices. Get paid for giving new life to used devices and get an extra $10 on your first trade-in of $50 or more at gazelle.com slash twit. Oh, it's time for iOS today, the show where we cover the iPad, mm. the iPhone. Ha. Wait a minute, that's a pixel. Oh, no. The iPhone. Ha. Ha. The Apple Watch. Yee. Ooh. The Apple TV. Ah. And soon, uh, CarPlay. Uh, CarPlay, yes. Did you buy that stuff? Yes. No. But I'm going to... Go ahead. Yeah. I gave you permission. I've gotten permis permission. Permission to buy. We're going to... Because we thought CarPlay really is a big part of iOS. It's a huge part of iOS, and it just got a huge update, completely which redesigned, demo. which we want to show. So I am going to be building a little uh, CarPlay unit that we can have just in right the here. studio right here. And then I have and a little uh, plastic <laughs> steering wheel with a horn on it, and I'm going to yes. go like this. Yes. It's going to be so much fun. It will be fun. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, for folks who like Android, we'll also be able to, they'll be able to show off Android on. Yeah, not on this show. Not here. No, Ugh. please. I would never. <sighs> Today, we're going to track your twerking bear. Mm-hmm. Track yourself. Track yourself. Before you wreck yourself, as they say. So Micah is a, all in on the quantified self. Uh, yeah. You want to know everything there is to, about, to know about you. I want to know. I want to know. I don't know what song that was, but um, I, I want to know how I sleep. I want to know what my walking gait is. I want to know the last time I had a food that then caused me to get poor the, uh, I don't know, pacing in my run. I, I just want to be able to see all those little data points and see, try and figure it all out. I just ask myself. <laughs> hey, self. What I have for dinner. And what myself says, mmm, broccoli. <laughs> and that's all I need. But I understand you want to use these devices. And actually, tracking yourself is really cool. You know, I forgot to bring in my tracking ring. <sighs> I have two the of them. I have I the need. Aura, a sponsor of the network for a long time, and Motive, another sponsor of the network. So I have both of them. Mm -hmm. And... Those are interesting because they're trackers that don't have to, you don't have to wear on your wrist. They're kind of unobtrusive. Mm -hmm. And I don't like to wear a watch to bed. I don't like to sleep track with my watch on. Yeah. So the, uh, let me show you the uh, kinds of things you can learn from the. And see, I already wear rings, so it would be perfect. This. Yeah, you don't, you wouldn't mind, would you? Yeah. And especially because, and we'll get to this whenever we talk about it, but um, body temperature is a very important is. Uh, marker for sleep cycles. It, it really is. And that's what the, why the aura is actually my favorite of the two, because uh, the motive ring, which of course I've deleted both apps. So I on don't, both I, devices, on both devices. <laughs> so I can't show you, but the, uh, I'll download it and I'll put them on here. So the, the, um, the motive app has, each has one feature the other doesn't. Oh. They both do steps. <laughs> both rings. They both do sleep tracking. They both, uh, you know, they're activity monitors. Mm -hmm. The motive ring, and the reason I, I got it, I was very interested to see, and you were I think too. we have an app too, ready. Oh, you've got, you've got, is this the Aura? Yeah. yeah. So I'll, I'll do the motive on here and I'll, and I'll show you. The, um, as soon as my health coach stops bugging me. <laughs> hey, hey. That's another thing I do, which I'll show you as well. The Motive Ring has, weirdly enough, can show up as a Bluetooth keyboard on a device. You pair it to the device. Mm -hmm. And then if you go like this. So-so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which is that, yeah, the universal sign for, eh, come see, come saw. You're wobbling your hand. 
it uh, spits out a six string authentication code. Okay, yeah, that's really cool. It does cool. time based authentication, just like Google Authenticator, Microsoft Authenticator. Yeah, well, okay, it's cool. I never got it working. Oh. <laughs> and uh, so it's a you, so -so you can only feature. use it for, for one account because there's no way to indicate right. which account. It's like, this, you know, two to this side. <laughs> yeah, no, no, they don't do that. There's only <laughs> one gesture and one account. So you could say, well, I'm going to make that my Google account. That right. would probably be logical or mm -hmm. um, last pass. I was going to say last, last pass, pass. Yeah. yeah. So, what, so uh, that would make a lot of sense. Um, it didn't work that well. Oh, that's too bad because that is a neat feature. Yeah, yeah. Now let me sign into my Motive account. And I'll show you. Hold on a sec. Don't don't look at this because you. Don't, I don't want anybody else to see what I'm up to. Right. What you're tracking. <laughs> what what I'm tracking. Can you smell what my Motive I'm, I'm, is cooking? I'm picking up what you're tracking down. <laughs> so the, I think exercise. Look, you already you already have. I already have probably the premier exercise tracker. It's the one everybody wants. Are we talking about this the Apple Watch? This one? Absolutely. Yeah. And so, it's it's great for all those features, except I wish they would include a temperature tracker. So here's the uh, here's the motive. Um, the sleep tracking is pretty good. Now I didn't have any sleep last night. I got tired of wearing <laughs> you didn't rings sleep to at bed all last night. Well, I do have another tracker which I can show you. Uh, it'll track your workouts. You can also it even has workouts built in, which is kind of nice. Now hold on, you said I, I need to repeat that quote that I just heard. I got tired of wearing rings to bed. So yeah. you noticed it? Yeah, bogs me. I now, don't, okay, now I, are you like a completely nude sleeper? Is that the deal? Well, I sleep with jammies. I'm not a savage. <laughs> you don't have to be. You don't have to be. Um, I'm not. You don't have to. I'm be, not a sex addict. So, I sleep with jammies on. Okay, listen. There are probably people out there who sleep with nothing who are not sex addicts, and nobody's not, yucking your yum. I'm not a twerking teddy bear. You, well, I sleep with jammies. I'm sorry. The twerking teddy bear sleeps with a shirt on. Thank you. Yeah. So as it should, because as it very well actually quite disturbing. If not now, no. So, but I mean, you know, it you, bothered my fingers. You so see, you're going like I even uh, take my wedding ring off at night, and I know I'm unusual. I think a lot of people don't ever take their wedding. Yeah. Rings off. You leave your rings on all the time. I leave this one on. I do actually take this one off. So I like I get it. <laughs> this is something new that's this happened. One goes off. To this me. one stays on. I don't feel this one really, but this yeah, one. I do. This is something new that's happened to me because I did used to uh, wear rings to bed. Uh, my whole life, but only in the last few years. Maybe as my fingers so have gotten chubby. Let's show you John. I want to show you the princess, uh, and there's a P under your mask. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like that. Um, so anyway, this will track calories. This will track activity. This is the Motive M O T I V. It's a little less expensive than the Aura O U R A. The Aura sleep tracker is great though, and I think oh, you got a firmware update, John. Got to update your firmware. Let's see. Your readiness is pretty good. So this does. As I said, something the motive doesn't do, which mm -hmm. is heart, actually two things, really. Heart rate variability and body oh, temperature. Oh, HRV is very important, yeah. too. The motive could do HRV. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know, it's monitoring your, 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 your beats. So this is John's, not mine. But this shows his sleep balance, previous day activity, his heart rate variability. Remember, more is better yes. in HRV. Yes, that means that your nervous system is essentially doing what it's supposed to do with communicating with your cardiovascular system. Right. So the graph is interesting because when it goes down, that often is a sign that you're stressed, sick, there's something going on. Same thing with temperature, only the opposite. Temperature, when your body temperature goes up, that usually means you're not not feeling well maybe you're going to get sick so that's kind of cool mm -hmm. john i'm i'm happy to say your body temperature it's is optimal. optimal it's optimal it's normal for it to go up when you eat drink or exercise late or if you're sleeping in a warm environment remember we talked before about a cool environment's better for sleep so important so these rings i think if you want sleep tracking these rings are a good choice. Yes, because they're they're in in theory they are things that you f forget about. You can wear them. You don't need to think about it. You go to bed. You know it's not an issue. But if you do feel it, then that is yeah. that becomes an issue. Yeah, sweaty finger is a problem for people of my age. The wow. other thing was that the uh, the aura, and I presume this is true of the motive, uh, does better heart rate tracking because it's cl it's a better uh -huh. spot than your wrist. Uh -huh. It's closer to a vein in your finger. Mm -hmm. So your heart rate uh, tracking is going to be more accurate with a ring mm -hmm. than it There's would be jostling with there. a watch. Yeah. yeah, and of course, people with tattoos, dark skin, lots of hair, the watch doesn't work as well. That's usually not a problem. 
Unless you have a ring tattoo. True. So tell me again, you said that there was one difference between the two of them. One so the one, one difference on the motive is you've got this gesture oh, okay. to gotcha. do a one-time authentication. I thought that would be really cool. It turns out it never worked right for me. It's a difficult thing to get right. So I say no. I use a regular authenticator. The, the thing that Aura does best actually is really two things, heart rate variability and body temperature. Those can be very useful for sleep tracking especially, but also just readiness tracking. Now, I do sleep track. I, I'll, I'll let you talk in a second. I do. <laughs> sorry. No, I'm, I've been wondering. But as long as we're talking about sleep things, tracking, yeah. um, this is from Simmons Beauty Rest, and I found out about it. By the way, you see, I had a terrible night's sleep. I do oh my do this. God, Leo. And the reason I do this is because this is just a, a paddle, small paddle, that you put under your mattress, in between mm -hmm. the mattress and the box spring, and right at your pillow at your pillow side. And you can have up to two. It comes with two in the box mm -hmm. for under a hundred dollars. They're not very expensive. So my wife and I both <laughs> You use keep that. saying that, but it's not. It's $165. Oh, it went up. I paid <clears throat> I paid sixty or fifty nine, something like that. Wow. Yeah. So they've gone up. That's too bad. Um, but still, I think well worth it. And you, it, you know, you may come with a Simmons mattress. Oh um, yeah. You probably got it with your mattress. No, no, I or, bought it. It was oh, cheap separate. when I bought it, but I think they were trying, I think at the time they were really trying to get a lot of people to use it because gotcha. they were, they, the more data they have, the better. Yes. That makes sense. So it does a good job. I think it does a fairly accurate job, even though heart rate must be difficult to measure through a mattress That's what I've been thinking and about. breathing rate, but they do claim to measure all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm, I get my resting heart rate, which is a little high right now. It's a, And you see there's a little red arrow showing that it's gone up. My sleep bowl goal is terrible, oh. terrible, terrible, terrible. Uh, you could see waking hours. The dark blue is deep sleep. That's the sleep that cleans the gunk out of your brain. Out of your brain. And then the, the lighter blue is the REM. Oh, no, I, I guess uh, it's light. It should be light. Lighter blue is light sleep. And REM, the dream sleep. Not very good. Only an hour. And that's the uh, yellow. So that's when I was dreaming. I think it, you know, comparing it to the aura and the motive, it seems to be fairly accurate. Yes. Seems that's to what do I've a good heard. job. Yeah. Uh, it does a, a pretty good job of of tracking in comparison to ones that are that close that sort of people have been using as sort of their like a watch or a Fitbit yeah. or a ring. Yeah. I was I actually really impressed at how accurate it is. Uh, it attaches to a little device, which then you connect to the internet. So it uploads this automatically. You don't have to do anything to get your sleep tracking information. It'll even send you some insights. There's a coaching system, a sleep report, for instance. And the report will tell you stuff based on their insights from gathering a lot of information. You can also, uh, if you want, you can, there's the sleep report. <laughs> You have to subscribe actually for there's a monthly fee for that, but you can you can get a sleep report for every day. This is your personalized analysis. It also uh, gives you a chance to make notes about uh, your night. Did you exercise? What did you what did you do? Uh, I had a high intensity workout yesterday. I did not eat within two hours. My day was stress free. I did consume some caffeine. I watched TV before bed. Now, do you fill those out regularly? Uh, I fill it out whenever I think about it. Yeah, uh, it's it's suggested, but you don't have to. Uh, my my thought is it benefits them more than you because they're collating these and yes. then uh, making associations and yeah, using that in the point. sleep reports. Because I've never noticed that it does anything with it from my point of view. This is the most useful one, I think, which is your bedtime and your wake time. Mm -hmm. We know how important it is to maintain consistency. A consistency yeah, and as there. you can see, I woke very early. Oh this my morning. word. And uh, sometimes, so one thing I've been told is don't lie in bed because you're telling your body it's okay to be in bed and not sleep. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. The, I, in college, um, especially, like people in college especially have an issue where they will work uh, in bed. They'll work on things in bed, and that's horrible for it you. It is a sacred place. Yes. It, you should treat it as a sacred place only for, good for two sexual things. activity and sleep. You have sex. I was thinking Wait, holding a teddy floor? bear and patting a oh. kitty cat. Uh, <laughs> and here's so I wanted to talk to. Let me with see yours. This. So you use this too? Yes. Oh, um, I didn't know you use this too. Yeah. It, well, I mean, you got a better sleep score. This is one thing. If you do this with your spouse, be prepared every freaking morning at breakfast. <laughs> Lisa will say, "I got an 81. What did you get? An 81? She gets great sleep scores. Ugh. But the funny thing is. Mm -hmm. She says, I got 81, but I'm still tired. Well, I've, you looked at her different cycles of sleep. That's the important thing. If I got a 46, I feel great. 
Uh, so maybe, who knows? I think you pay too much attention. This is my problem with all this quantified crap. <laughs> quantified crap. <laughs> quantified crap. That's you the pay, name of this episode. You can, over, you can be over-obsessive. Yes, you can absolutely. be OCD with this stuff. Yeah, I agree. I, so I wanted to just say, uh, it will ask you questions at the beginning, like, hey, do you sleep with pets? You yes. fool? And so even with two chihuahuas who have incredibly fast heart rates, it's still able to Isn't accurately that amazing? track my heart rate. I think that is amazing. And it distinguishes between me and Lisa, obviously. Through my Casper mattress, it somehow knows, yeah. like, can sense my heart rate and my apparently my breathing. And I think that's This really is the cool. one I generally tell people to get. I don't know about you. You're the sleep expert. But I don't know if you know this. Micah did a sleep podcast for a long time and mm -hmm. has learned a lot about sleep. Um, do you Scary. recommend one over the other? Uh, so... That, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to try this one to see how it compares to some of the other things that I've used and what it tracks. And uh, also, I did a lot of reading about this one before and looked at the reviews. This genuinely does seem to be one of the it's best easy. options. It just happens. That's the important thing. So, folks, uh, I, I know some folks who will get an app and then they have to tell it, hey, I'm going to sleep now. You don't always do that. And it's the consistency that matters in terms of being able to actually find the trends. If you're right. going to do this kind of stuff, the way that it's helpful for you is if you do collect that data over time and start to see those trends. And you may not do that if you get an app that you know you have to tell every time, uh, which is why I want to talk about an app that I had used and, and still do use sort of as a, a comparison, which is called Pillow. But you um, have to put your phone in bed with you, don't you? Well... This is where the Apple Watch ah, comes into play. So uh, you have to wear your watch to bed. You have to wear your watch to bed. So that New band, is, by the way, nice. Uh, no, this is actually Rene Ritchie got me this band oh, uh, way back when I started working at iMore. It's the Blue Jay band, but I don't think they make it anymore. You haven't said anything about my watch and band. I finally got my new Apple yeah, Watch. Yeah, that's right. Don't buy titanium, folks. It's indistinguishable <laughs> from aluminum, <laughs> except for the credit card. Except for the price, right. Yeah. But I did get the finally, because I, I always resisted these link bands that Apple sells, because they're the most expensive band mm -hmm. Apple sells. And uh, I have to say, it's quite nicely made, especially because it's so easy to add and remove links with that little button. And I think it looks good on the uh, titanium. It's gorgeous, it? yeah. yeah. So this is the... the uh, they call it DLC. I don't know. Uh, diamond, li diamond Leo coating. I have it. This is the diamond Leo coated version, not the neutral titanium. But I think it's quite pretty. It's very pretty. But again, if if I met you in the street, you wouldn't know I didn't have the aluminum watch. <laughs> right. Yeah. Only you know. Only and your I credit know. card company. Yeah. Because ours look pretty much the same. Can you tell the difference? It's exactly the same. Wait a minute. Put it over oh, here. Yeah. Okay. Share because we don't have a. It's, it's, it's kind of hard to show what, but that's the point. You can't tell. You can't tell. Ah, you can tell I have a better band than this? your mint. Yes, your band is better. But hey, this is blue jay. This is very dressy. I think I like this dressy band. This, yeah, it's very yeah. Uh, classy. Yeah. Uh, so pillow. As am I. Yes, Leo the classy. Um, so pillow. Hello. Has two modes. One mode is where you can keep your watch or i mean your your phone in bed with you and it uses those sensors to track uh but with this one it's using my apple watch and when you use that it does an automatic mode so automatically it starts to track your sleep when it thinks that you are going to sleep and you don't need to tell it you don't need to say hey you know i'm about to lay down or whatever it figures all of that out for you now what's kind of cool about this is that um, you can also tell it hey, between this hour and this hour, don't track sleep. So if you do end up being a person who goes to, uh, who sits in your bed or what have you, who goes to bed earlier and sort of sits around, then this app is helpful for that because you can say, yeah, I might be in bed at 6 p.m., <laughs> but don't... Uh, don't count on Yeah, don't, don't count on me being asleep at that time. That doesn't count. Um, and... What's, sleep tracker is very smart about that, by the way. It seems to yes, really understand. to know what's sleeping yeah. and what's not. Yeah. Because my dogs like to sit in my bed. No, they definitely know it's, you're not your dog. But but even like if you get in bed to read, it doesn't start your sleep time until you Until really you actually sleep. are asleep. And that's yeah. because what we know so much about heart rate yeah. and breathing and respiration and body temperature. With which those this sensors, one they can kind of tell. Yeah, they yeah. know what actual yeah. sleep is. Um, and the other thing that's cool about this is it will use, it connects with Apple Health, and it will use the oh, information like that. that's already there yeah. to do its analysis. 
Um, oh, so it. See, I you know you don't you don't have to tell it I exercise today or anything like that. Right. It knows. Yes. I like that. That would be nice. I don't know why Sleep Tracker doesn't do that. So it actually detects sleep sessions that were already in the app on and see all these nice. purple dots here are days where there's a sleep session um, that I was able to track and shows you sort of what the sleep looks like. And see, I think I took a nap that day. Um, so you could see I was asleep for about an hour or 40 minutes. Um, oh no, maybe 30 minutes. Anyway. Yeah. I usually take a nap during security now. That's my nap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but poor sleep quality. And I like this too. The inner circle is the time that you were asleep, but the outer circle is your actual sleep score. Oh, that's nice. And then over time, it'll give you insights about Oh, your optimal bedtime is midnight. What? Uh, you like to wake up early in the morning. Here's some stuff about those breast milk seem, and sleep. Okay, all three of those seem completely confusing. Well, first of all, where are you going to get breast milk at this hour of the day? <laughs> Second of all, if you go to bed late and you get up early, that doesn't seem like conducive to a good night's sleep. That's yeah. No, right? no, no. It's it's saying it's saying this about me. It's saying hey, not that it's good. This right. is just this is just you. This based on you know you're your getting sleep up too early. Is that what it's saying? I always wake. Yeah, well, and it's I'm a lot. You're a lark. In that I perform. I'm an best owl. during the day. Yeah, um, I'm an owl. So this is talking about how uh, with breast milk for babies. Um, it's please. completely useless to you. I don't even know why they put that in there. Well, because there could be a woman who breastfeeds who. Yeah, no, I understand, but to you, that's completely well, yeah. useless. I don't know if they know my. Um, oh, they don't know who they you don't are. Don't know if I can. They don't know babies. me. They might. I don't remember if they you asked me. Should get a me. DNA test because I think you're hundred percent that Micah. I am that Micah. Um, <laughs> oh, there's me. High functioning sleep deprivation. Yeah, that's <laughs> too, life. Right? Yeah, that's well, life. Well, I don't have any choice. That's I mean, what the people. I don't say. get to not function, and I that's wish true. I could sleep if I had the choice. I, you know, I go to bed mm -hmm. at ten in, in at night. I don't have to you get do? up, you know, till nine forty five. So I don't know why. Uh, I'm sleep deprived. I'm telling you, we, Leo and I talked about this. He's going to do a sleep study. We're going to figure out what's going he on. He thinks I need to. Now, you've not done this. I have not done a sleep study, but I'm, by golly, going to be doing one now okay. that I'm here. Uh, by the way, um, there was an article that I meant to send you uh, completely unrelated to anything except how you sleep sort of on your stomach. Yeah, I'm a stomach sleeper. And I know it's terrible. The, the, it also is bad for your face. It ages you. See? The National Sleep uh, Foundation yeah. has officially said that the best way to sleep, the, yeah. the most healthy way to sleep and the best way to get good sleep <sighs> yeah. is on your side. Who's a side sleeper? This guy's a side sleeper. Yeah. You're worse than Lisa. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> that's me every night. Uh <laughs> <laughs> there's a thing called um muscle tone and there's a thing called muscle tone there, yeah i've heard about this thing called muscle it's tone. not muscle tone oh uh, the the tone the definition of your muscles <laughs> instead it is the idea that your muscles throughout the day are supporting all of your different parts of your body but when you sleep your muscle tone relaxes yeah and if you are sleeping not on your side then it starts to push your body into pillows. It starts to make it so that your respiration isn't good. Uh, your spine you know, goes out of whack. I don't understand, honestly, how anybody sleeps. I agree. People with shoulders, how do you sleep? <laughs> because, you know, some of those people who have shoulders. I have a shoulder and an arm. If I didn't have a shoulder and an arm, mm -hmm. I would just sleep right there. But if I sleep on my shoulder, it hurts. Well, you're doing it. You got you to gotta do a better setup for yourself. Uh, I'll send you this article because it also talks about how to do a it? body pillow. I don't mind sleeping have. sideways. I have a I have a nice Casper mm -hmm. pillow that's pretty much as long as you know my torso. Mm -hmm. um, and it yeah, it tells you how to and I properly asked, do so that. I, my, Mike and I have interesting conversations we do. off the air. I said, well, you sleep on your side. Where do you put your arm? <laughs> <laughs> this is out here. Yeah. But I don't want my arm out there. I want my arm here. Or well, if you're if you're snuggling your body pillow. Uh, you know what? We'll do a demonstration after this, and I, I'll, I'll show I, you all about I, it. I am completely... The only thing I don't want to do is sleep on my back. Now, yes. they probably said that's the worst way to sleep. Mm, no? Stomach is the worst way to sleep. Back is the second worst <laughs> way to sleep. <laughs> because uh, if you sleep on I your... I worry I'm going to aspirate a ham sandwich. 
<laughs> Why do you have a ham sandwich in your mouth while you're sleeping? You're hungry. <laughs> just like it's there. It's just there. It's on your face. You never know. <laughs> you might you get hungry. In the middle of the night like, ah, oh, it's ham sandwich don't, time. Doesn't your, don't you snore more on your back and your mouth? Yeah. yeah. Well, it depends on if you have a weak palate. So if you have a weak palate, then yes, you have, have these. <laughs> you have, And again, it's muscle tone. Then you start to... But if you're sleeping on your stomach, your palate. you're pushing your spine backward in your head and it can end up causing the same issues. Throws your shoulders out of whack. It's, so sorry it's I bad. asked about this. Yeah, I, I'm not going to go on because this is not the sleep show. But <laughs> We um, should do a sleep show. We Actually, this has been the sleep <laughs> show, but there are other things you can track. Now, I've mentioned before uh, the diet that I am on, and I don't want to call it a diet, but it, I mean, a it's, diet, a way of life. it's a way of eating. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, but it's a it's a medically supervised program called Verda, and one of the things I do, and they, they have an app for that, which is nice, uh, is track my blood glucose, my ketones, because it's a ketogenic diet, my blood pressure, and my weight, and uh, as well as weekly symptoms, hunger, and cravings. So that's now. Unfortunately, uh, there still is really no non-invasive way to measure your blood glucose. I was going to ask if you have to. I do the prick finger. my finger every day, yeah. which is okay. There are some less invasive ways to do it, and I know a lot of companies are working on this mm -hmm. because if if you can track the uh, blood glucose continuously, mm -hmm. and there are ways to do that, but even they are invasive. You can really get a lot of insight onto onto what's going on. Um, this is so. What's nice about this is I've been tracking this since February. So I have, yeah. There's the weight loss. You can see it's plateaued a little bit, but that's about to be expected. La that's yeah. amazing. Yeah, and the glucose is improved and and so forth. So, uh, blood pressure is improved. So this is nice. This is a great thing to be able to track. They have a scale, and this is the kind of the device. And I should have brought this in. They send you a scale, but Why Things makes really excellent uh, yeah. body tracking mm -hmm. devices. So I do my blood pressure. In fact, let me. I, mean, I know you're very careful about it. You're like perfectly laying still. Oh, well, you want, <laughs> I feel like I'm cheating. Yeah. You know, I want to get the Don't best move. possible blood pressure. <laughs> uh, but why things, uh, which was owned by Nokia and then was sold back and has once again become a, um, a French company. We, oui. um, oui. they have a number of devices. In fact, you can see, but I have their BPM, their blood pressure monitor. Okay. And this is nice because there's no wires or anything. You just put it on and the phone measures it. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. And in fact, it even does some nice things. For instance, you can say measure it three times and take the average. So you can oh. kind of even out. Uh, and then they also have a scale, mm -hmm. which I use. Uh, the nice thing about this is uh, it not only gives you weight, it gives you things like body mass index, the percentage of muscle, mm -hmm. bones, and water in your blood. It gives you your heart rate. And it gives you the weather, weather. <laughs> which yeah. is a little strange. I've got one too, but I don't remember which one I have. So this I is the uh, Why Things HealthMate app, and they have other devices. So if uh, if you're interested, but I I uh, the uh, the scale and the blood pressure cuff are really fantastic. I have to say, uh, they now have a watch as well. The Why Things Move, the Pulse HR. I I'm not sure. I recommend those. Uh, I like the Apple Watch. I you know everybody I've talked to who's tried every exercise. To watch there is including fitbit everybody seems to agree that uh the apple watch is the best at least in heart rate mm -hmm. so they have a variety of scales including the weight and bmi scale which is frankly all you really need that's 59.95 it's wi-fi connected so it automatically uploads to the app and i think 60 dollars is not too unreasonable they also have a sleep tracking map for 100 bucks which i have not tried i have uh read about that one and it is not not um, good not good uh okay. this is the one that i have the body plus that's the one i have yeah oh. Yeah. yeah, and it yeah. So the the way that it can tell your your skeletal structure, your bone, your your uh, water intake, it sends like a low level electronic frequency up through your. You body. don't feel it. Yeah, you don't feel it at all. Um, but by doing that, it can feel the resistance essentially, and then knows how electrical resistance works through bone, through water, and through muscle. Um, and there's one more fun thing okay. you can do with this. <laughs> you can use if this then that to tweak. Your oh, weight. this is right. This is a thing that you did or do. You can't undo. Well, I could undo it, if but you I can't could log in. Yeah, well, I can log in, so I could I could disconnect it. I thought you couldn't access IFTTT. Well, I lost IFTTT, but I could I could log into my Twitter. I still have access to that Twitter account, so right. I could disconnect it. Um, but I, what I really want to do 
is just say calm down or something. I mean, just because it's it it does a lot of tweeting. I just <laughs> anyway. Uh, the nice thing about the scale we have is you can ha it's for up to two people. Mm -hmm. You lean left, that's one person. You lean right, that's the other. So what I've done is I've programmed left to tweet. Right, not to tweet. Oh. So if I want to weigh myself, but I don't want anybody to know, <laughs> you're like, ooh, today's and, a and good day. It's nice because it shows you the weight before you lean. Oh, so I could go, yeah, tweet that one. Are, that's or, really interesting. Yeah, don't tweet that, please. Because mine could do multiple people, but it does it. it Maybe is, I have a different it one. Rec than you. Yeah, because it recognizes it just by the. Well, it does do that profile it does I didn't do know that about this left right thing that's kind of but neat. see uh I, you can have different profiles okay. yeah yeah so that's kind of nice yeah when my son got on it he's close enough in weight to me that my uh my my diet coach said congratulations on the five pound weight loss and you're like oh yeah doc no i can't lie to her she's too nice so anyway um track if you want to track blood pressure and weight that's a good way to do it does it right in the app mm-hmm and uh, and it and it keeps a long term track that you could then send your See, doctor. Or and, and I think that's why some people will go, "Why have all of these smart things? What what's the point?" And I really think the, the graph. Yes, the graph, the trend to see how your body is changing over time, and you can the kind trend of trend is your friend. Trend, oh, I like that. Trend is your friend, folks. Uh, that is so. You were kind of talking about your diet and um, how you track that kind of stuff. Well, again, we're not saying diet. It's I had to buy all new shirts. I'll eating. tell you about that in a second. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I want to talk about Cardiogram now. <gasps> Love Cardiogram. Look, it's a complication on my own little watch. Why is this not logged in? Look at this. Now, Apple does do a heart measurement mm -hmm. on the Apple Watch. But Cardiogram, you can see, gives you graphs, gives you information, does periodic tracking so I can see how my heart rate has changed it does my resting heart rate which everybody should know my walking average i haven't done a lot of exercise today yet so it's early in the day i think this is a really nice app this is this is the watch version of cardiogram should i should i open it on my phone yeah please do because is it missing mine's not logged in yeah there's a there there uh, oh because new phone new phone new who phone, did <laughs> you know it's funny i don't have it on mine either uh it's so funny i have it on the watch but i don't have it on the phone so, I, that's how mine is too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, really nice app, and yes, the graphs. Here are we great. go. Um, so, what I like about Cardiogram is that as it's showing your heart rate, it will see oh, spikes it. and things like that, and it will give you a little place to tap and say, "Oh, yeah, this is what was going. This is what I think was going on during that moment." Right. So you can kind of see where spikes might happen and what is causing those spikes. Um, it does do a little bit of uh, not only kind of tracking within the app, but if you give it access to your Apple uh, health profile, then it can use that information to sort of cross-reference. And so it knows that during this period of time I was asleep and here's what my heart rate was uh, while I was asleep um, and, and use all of that data together. So it shows you a timeline of your information, but also the metrics I think are really nice where in comparison to other users, your resting heart rate is lower or higher than the average. You stand more than 68% of cardiogram users. You move less than this many, et cetera, et that's cetera. Good. I think that's good information. Yeah. And By the, the way, well. this confirms also what Sleep Tracker says, which is interesting. So my resting heart rate, according to cardiogram, is 64. That's, of course, when I'm wearing my watch during the day. And Sleep Tracker says uh, that my sleep resting heart rate is 65. So hmm. that, uh, that actually... They correlate, which and I like that too. It's encouraging because yeah. it helps me when I can look at the different apps and see how they are or aren't correlating. Then I can say, okay, what is this an issue with the app and it's not right. good, or is this an issue where I haven't set some sort of integration up properly, uh, or what have you? Here you can see, and it did this completely automatically. This was when I was working out yesterday. You can see my average beats per minute was one thirty. I peaked at one sixty nine. That's when he had me doing jumping jacks or some Oof. sort of silly thing. Uh, in fact, you see the whole you see the whole day here. You could see where my sleep was. So there's my resting BPM. According to this, is 57. But I wasn't wearing my watch, so I don't know how it would know that. It may, and again, it can pull from other sources if you have it. Ah, uh, so maybe maybe it did put pull from Sleep Tracker because probably I have it connected. So this is great. This is day by day. Cardiogram is really fantastic. And if you're feeling like, oh, you know, my heart's pounding. Uh, you can put the watch app on and it'll actually take your heart rate right now. I'm 86, which is a little high, but that's because I'm nervous sitting next to somebody as 
exciting as you. <laughs> well, let's see what mine is. I have uh, notoriously a pretty uh, bad resting heart rate. My resting is good, but my but um, I have a very high heart rate ready rest of the time. So, so it's taking his it's taking his uh, pulse right now. And again, I think this is fairly accurate. Now the Apple Watch does this too, but not it doesn't. Oh, look, see, you're good. Seventy four is great. Seventy four is not bad. I wish it was lower. You're, dude, you're on you know TV. Millions of people are watching you right now. <laughs> oh God, <sighs> that's why mine is high. Mine's elevated. <laughs> yeah, that's the actual rate of my heart right <laughs> now. <laughs> So that's good. It's we both. It's funny how we both kind of use similar uh, yeah. things. Cardiogram is my favorite. There's one other thing, and and I I love it. Let me see if I have it on this watch. While you're looking for it, I do want to say, I think that folks kind of get the idea over time as the ones that like to track stuff, we sort of find the ones that really work as we're right. using different ones and stick with those. This is something new on the Apple Watch. That's the sound meter. Oh, yes. Look at that. You can actually see it hey. moving. You can Hey! Whoa. Whoa. So, so, okay, it's only 65 dB right here, long-term exposure. But this is really great. I would recommend this if you're going to a concert or mm -hmm. even a movie these days. They're awfully loud. Yeah, they are. It's so cool. Or am cool I getting older? That they put, this is something new that uh, I, I think Series 3, 4, and 5 watches can do it. It's part of Watch OS 6, mm -hmm. 6.0.1 now. <laughs> what is it? 6.0.7.2? For crying out loud. Um, but this is, I think this is a really nice feature and yeah, you can make it a little, um, complication on your face. So if you want, you can, you can see, uh, yeah, the what's going active on. things. It's funny. You I and I have the same watch face too. It's kind of scary, Micah. Yeah, this is a little kind of scary. If like, I start wearing purple flowered shirts, you'll know. Can you please stay in your lane, Leo? <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually this isn't my default face, but I, I did put that, um, complication on my secondary face so yes. that i knew if i wanted to i could watch them yeah because my, now, the other my thing, default face is the uh ca remember california yeah i don't that's too too stylish for somebody like me i, I use infograph <laughs> I you, modular did you keep the the cool characters that we talked about uh no yeah i have it the angle or, or whatever yeah. it was yeah uh I, I the other thing somebody might wonder oh yes if you keep the sound pressure meter on your complication does it deplete battery life? And oh. I'm happy to say I tried it for the last few days mm -hmm. full time and it did not. In oh, fact, battery life great. on this new watch is great. Pretty great, yeah. yeah. Now, is that the, is that auto, I mean, auto, is that air quality or is that uh, temperature? That's another great thing. It is temperature, but you know, last year when we were having fires here, I switched this complication to AQI. Right now, our, our air quality is pretty consistent, but if you live in a city, or you're in an area where you're having forest you're fires, Kong. as we are, or you're in Hong Kong. AQI is really great. That's the audio, I'm sorry, the air see, quality <laughs> index. And you see it's it's very good here. It's yes. 13. But we were getting into the 90s, even over 100 during the forest fires here. And that wow. was a very good thing to monitor mm -hmm. because you want to make sure that the air you're breathing is okay. And another also has a UV index. Which I was going to say for folks who um, are melanin challenged, particularly uh, having the UV index is especially important. If you ever go outside, yes, which it, we know you which, don't. Yeah, I don't. Um, <laughs> but my mom, uh, I actually she I had go outside a, a lot. Oh God, I don't know why. No, she had my mom is There's white. That, that thing burning in the sky. And she had us. Is she very fair? Uh, no, she she tans pretty well. However. Um, she would always ask me, what's the UV index? And now, you know, now, so I, I set up a Siri shortcut that I could send her every morning, the, oh, the UV index. Cute. So she would Isn't have that. that. Sweet. Um, but folks, you I know, I sent my mom an Apple phone so she could do it herself. Well, she has an Apple phone too, but she, you know, it's just like, it's a reminder <laughs> no, that I'm there. Uh, so hi mom. The, the AQI is 33. The UV index is five. Mm-hmm. You should have a wonderful day. Don't forget your sunscreen. <laughs> yes. I think that the, uh, people that all sounds skin great. cancer. Like what a wonderful son you are until uh, we know that you used a Siri shortcut right. to send that on. Yeah, I didn't do that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do that with my, my own two hands. Uh, no, skin cancer is no joke. No joke. Um, UV basically goes in and mutates the, the uh, RNA in your skin. And that's what causes the issues that lead to skin cancer. So you should We call yourself. it. The Chernobyl effect. Do we? I do. Okay. It's the same thing. 
Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to let that It's a nuclear there. reactor in the in sky. In the sky that is fusion. affecting your skin. <laughs> but similar. Is it fusion? Is it fission? It's fusion. Okay. Yeah, because it's making heavy metals oh, that's right. from fusion, low, low atomic number things like there hydrogen. There is a fusion in the sky. So we track a lot. You know what? I shouldn't have mocked you because I'm apparently tracking a ton of stuff. Yeah. I why, get on my scale and it sends it to the internet. I think another important thing, and unfortunately, I did this. Um, what did you do? Did you update your iPhone? It's updating. I'm sorry. 13.1.2. Yeah, so I wanted to... I, 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 I update it. before I came I in. I have auto-update, I thought, turned no, on. No, it doesn't do nothing. <laughs> auto-update's a lie. It's a lie. I want to talk about in the home app, or in the home app, in the health app for iOS. I don't know if you want to pop that open. Uh, sure. It's show I off. love the health app, and I connect everything to the health app. Me too. Yeah. I want to talk about health records in particular. Oh, very, very important. I love... Now, here's the bummer. You th you'd think, you'd think you moved to California, you're super, super close to Apple's headquarters. You'd think that the uh, healthcare systems around here would have integrations with Apple Health. No. I came from Missouri. They did. And all of my different yeah. uh, health systems had integrations with yeah. Apple Health. Here it doesn't, which no. is a bummer because I love having my medical records there. It's got uh, medication, like prescription information. It automatically pops in there. I can see so that I can give that information to a new doctor. Um, you can enter it by hand, yes, which is what but, I do. Uh, the other thing that's really important uh, to do on here is make sure that you put in, uh, what, 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 do they, what do they call it? your a medical ID mm -hmm. because this is what first responders will see. Mm -hmm. In fact, and I shouldn't oh, show that. O positive. I'm O positive. I'm B positive. If you need my blood, I'm a universal donor. Yeah. Uh, and you also, and the most important thing to put in there, I'm told by first responders is your emergency contact numbers. So first responders know that if they see somebody in distress, maybe you can't talk, they can pick up the phone, and both Android and iOS have an easy way without unlocking it mm -hmm. for them to get your medical information. So go to your Apple Health. Absolutely set this up. And set it up, and most importantly, again, uh, a contact number. Because mm -hmm. before they even care about whether you're allergic to you know, antibiotics right. or your blood type, they want to call your next of kin mm -hmm. and say, quick, get, get here. here, get over here. Or, hey, can we administer this or whatever? And I just want to, let me put out the call. Let me ask, uh, Apple makes it super easy to uh, sign up to be an organ donor. Mm -hmm. um, people's mm -hmm. lives are saved all the time. Look at that. Yep, Look at that. Same. Look at that. Oh, people's lives are saved all the organ time donor. from being, uh, from, from organ donations. So yeah. consider it. Please. Donate life. And that, it makes it very easy. And again, uh, this is something that they will see in the hospital or an EMT oh, will see. No allergies. Go fill out your health profile on your iPhone, uh -huh. uh, your medical, medical ID. Medical ID as well. And then an organ donation. So Please. health records underneath accounts. This is the thing that this I was This is the one you want to connect. Get started. Let's just see. Yeah. Let's see if you uh, have any. Can it access my location? You bet. You, you use that. If you're wondering why it's asking for that, it goes and looks for uh, different health organizations near so you. The good news is this is Petaluma Hospital. The bad news is that's not my health plan. Right. Um, Kaiser's you see, not. So, Kaiser's not, which is what we use. UCSF is, Dignity is, and then some of these specific um, doctors are. Yeah. So I have mine set up from my other uh, doctors Stanford. that I had, and it's just really nice to have all of that information available. It shows my uh, my history of uh, blood panels and all that stuff oh, right there that. and available. Kaiser has their own app. That's why. They yeah, figure, well, so we, we got that information. I don't know. It'd be it nice so to tie easy. it together. Well, it's not so easy. but It, it also is. would make it be uh, portable, which is important. Exactly. Uh, health record portability is a big issue, being able to move from doctor to doctor. So I hope so, they update that. Health is right. I'm glad you mentioned that. So Yeah, don't forget the health don't app. Don't forget the health. You probably have a Fitbit app or you know, a Why Things app or whatever. Make sure, if you can, you connect it to your health app. Then yeah, your health app is a centralized There location. you go. It's a centralized spot that all these different apps can read from right. and be able to pull that data to help establish those trends. And I think that's the cool thing. <gasps> and then in the future, Do you want to do an ECG? He's trying to tell us to do an ECG. Oh, yes. And your Apple Watch has um, ECG, which, of course, you know, everybody says at this point, the caveat is that it's not the same as a five lead or six lead ECG. We know that. It's a one lead. Um, it's not as accurate. And it does not check for heart attacks, as it yes, says. Yes, that's important. There is, though, I noticed with the, and I don't know, again, if this is Watch OS 6 or Series, the new series, 
Uh, this was the series five, five. right? Yeah. yeah. Um, but I did notice that when you first set up your new Apple Watch, you'll be asked, "Do you want to do fall detection?" Yes, I did. Uh, do you want us to let you know if your heart rate exceeds 120 degree, uh, 20 beats per minute without you doing anything? <laughs> yes, I did. Do you want to know if it falls below 80 beats? And you can change all that as well. Those are really important settings, and I'm very glad to see that. They also now have, uh, for the ladies, a cycle tracker. So you can use the health app to turn that on, and that's very handy, and that'll show up on the watch as well. Yeah, Which, for, if for you're trying to get pregnant or trying not to get pregnant, uh, very handy. Anyone who has the need for cycle tracking, that's available. Yeah, yeah. I have I have my own cycles, but I don't know if they know anything yeah. about those yet. Uh, let me see where is that in? Yeah, that's in. If you go to health in your settings, you can. Uh, I think you can do some of that stuff as well. Activity, hearing, environmental sound levels. I think all of this stuff. is Oh, and great. another thing, yeah, in the, the hearing options on. is that you can set it up to. And I'm trying to remember where that is uh, to track with headphones that you use, both um, headphones that are Apple made and headphones that are not Apple made. And I can't remember where that setting is now. Um, I noticed, by the way, they, uh, I have heart rate variability in here. You do? Yeah. And is it is something putting information to it? Well, I have it connected to cardiogram, but I think Apple is keeping track of that now. Yeah, it looks like my Apple Watch yeah. is one of the... So this must be a new thing. This is great. I mean, I I'm think glad this it has is, HRV, yeah. Yeah. Resting heart rate also. Uh, walking heart rate. So wow, this is this is nice yeah, stuff to, to have available. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> I like that it has heart rate variability. My vitals. My Check respiratory rate. And that's, uh, that's coming from Sleep Tracker. Let me see. That's pretty good. There's got to be... I'm going to look and see if there's one that I'm, I don't have a problem showing. Oh yeah, here. So <laughs> that's within my health records. It has it, uh, my, that I'm allergic to sulfa drugs, which Bactrim nice. is a sulfa drug. You definitely want to put that in that there. information is you there. You absolutely want to put that in there because you don't want them giving you something that make you sick. Yeah. Yeah. See, see this? Ooh, very excited. it's time. My new shirts are here. Oh yes. So this blows me away. But I have, I've always wanted, I've always dreamt of having tailored shirts, tailored clothes in general. But I, there used to be a place, I think it was the Custom Shirt Shop. And I always thought I would walk by going, oh, I wish I could afford a tailored shirt. It would be so nice to have a shirt that, you know, fit, fit both the neck, perfectly. sleeve length, mm -hmm. but also the body, the tails, everything. Along comes Taylor Store, and they do this in an app. And it's kind of hard to believe. Yes, you put the you do it on your phone. You put the phone on the floor. It gives you an outline. You stand in the outline. It takes a couple of pictures, front ways and sideways, and then they send you a shirt that's perfect, <laughs> perfectly fitting. Now it's maybe a little more complicated than that because they have all kinds of fabrics, all kinds of details. You know, this is this is my new new shirt. I and I've been keeping it in the wrapper because I didn't want anybody to uh, steal it, Micah. This is a beautiful shirt. Now, you can change the buttons. Notice I got Mother of Pearl buttons. You can change the thread. The thread on the buttons. You can have different cuffs. If you want cufflink cuffs, you can get those. You can have spread collar, narrow collar. They have a huge variety Brand of fabrics. collar, everything. It is incredible. Also, if you're lazy, they have finished designs. You can just say, I want that one. Mm -hmm. But Or use them as a starting point for customization. Say, you know, I even get like a, a pleated back. I don't know why I like that, but the, it's just... Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I did darts on mine. Darts, mm -hmm. yeah. So Taylor's store makes a shirt that's yours and yours alone for both men and women. The perfect fit guarantee means there's no risk when ordering. If your shirt doesn't fit just as you like it, they'll remake it for free. And guess what? You keep the shirt that they sent you. You can wear it if you want or give it to charity or give it to Micah, whatever. That's what I do. Send it to me. Yep. Send it to Micah. It's okay. <laughs> you don't even have to ship the old shirt back. I've never bought clothing at a store where they said, doesn't fit, no problem, keep it. We'll right. send you one that fits. Yeah. What? That's, That's awesome. Taylor Store's app is called Size Colon Me, Size Me. And it just revolutionizes the measurement process. They're doing two things, machine learning, but they're also doing statistical uh, learning. And as a result, they are able, it's kind of mind-bending, mm. they are able to, using this advanced technology, eliminate the tape measure, eliminate the hassle. You just download the app. It makes it so simple. Their algorithm will precisely ca calculate your clothing measurements. It just takes seconds. 
and it, everything fits. You know, after I lost weight, uh, you know, this is one of my older shirts. The collars were too big. There's mm -hmm. too much space here, mm -hmm. right? So I, and I didn't, it doesn't ask your collar size. These fit perfectly, not too uh. tight, not too loose. I just, it's mind bending. I mean, I got to, the fact is as a kind of, uh, what do we say? Tall, willowy person. Willowy. I always have the issue. You see these sleeves are rolled up right now. Yeah. It's not because I like rolled Nothing sleeves. Fits, it's right? because they're never yeah. long enough. That's not that a tailor store good shirt. Fit here. Yeah. This is not a tailor store shirt. Get your tailor I store got shirt. my tailor store shirt. I put it on. Sleeves were perfect. It fit me perfectly down my, my waist and torso. I was genuinely so happy whenever I put that shirt on. And I have to say, I feel like the this this company is perfect for the 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 nerdy person. And I nerd is a very good thing in my mind. Uh, the nerdy person who likes to do customizations. Like you'd like to Yeah, build you don't your have to, thing. but if you do right. It's, it's so like, much fun. I was like building my own shirt. It's like a game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, then the other thing is, and I really think this is important. They are a very environmentally mm -hmm. conscious company. So your shirts are not made in sweatshops. They're married in Sri Lanka by people who are paid properly. Uh, it's from their members of the their certified GOTS, which is Global Organic Textile Sand Standard. So the fabric is made consciously. It's organic. Uh, it's a social, uh, socially conscious factory. Um, they you can actually go tour it yes. if you're in Sri Lanka. Send a note to the tailor store people. They're so proud of the working conditions. And, 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 and by the way, they've become a major employer. They actually said, we are the main employer in one small town. We hired everybody available. <laughs> now we're moving to a second town next door. They're also carbon neutral, which I love Amazing. it. Amazing. Uh, so they buy, they're offsetting the CO2 emissions for everything they do, not just making the shirts, but even driving to work. Uh, and they do that by planting thousands of trees every year. They even, you know... They're so smart. They're technologists. They're Swedish, Swedish company. I was talking to uh, Mats, who uh, one of the founders, and he said we we noticed there was a lot of waste in our textile with oh, hand cutting, yeah. so we created a laser cutting <laughs> system. You know, that we is, just made some. Yeah, lasers. we just we just designed a laser cutting system, so there's minimized waste. You will feel good about buying your shirts here. You will love your shirts, and with their exclusive trial price. You can get your first shirt from Taylor Store for thirty nine dollars. Wow, that's half the regular price. Taylorstore dot com slash ios today. I know you're skeptical, right? So get that first oh shirt God, for thirty nine dollars. Terms and conditions do apply. Um, but it, and then the thing is, you're going to do that, and then you're going to order a bunch of them. I I went back. And I ordered I ordered four hundred dollars worth of shirts. I, I love it so much. I'm going to go order some shirts. And, and Mike has been nice because he knows I got the shirt with flamingos on it, and he didn't order it. But I give you permission. Really? I want the flamingo shirt. I give you permission. They have some great fabric, and they're about to. They they just sent me an email. They they have sweaters now, which is perfect. And because they're going to do their cold. pants are coming too. I'm going to have my oh, whole wardrobe I, in my tailor I seriously store. Have, yeah. I know you know I get giddy about different things. I'm really legitimately giddy about uh, these clothes because I I hardly ever get to. Put on a shirt and be truly happy, and yeah. know that it fits. You're like Jason Howell, I, yeah. You know, and uh, and my and you know who's going to really be in? I don't know if Ant's got his shirt yet or not, but see, Ant. Oh is, yeah, because he's yeah. And I really want to see how they do with Ant because yeah. he's built. So here's how you do it: you go to TaylorStore.com/slash iOS today. T a i l o r, T a i l o r store.com/slash iOS today. Use the offer code iOS today. $39, half the regular price. You're going to love it. Plus free shipping. Terms and conditions apply. Oh, my God. I got to get off the site. I'm going to spend all the money I just got. I know. Tailorstore.com slash iOS today. We, we really are happy to have them as a, a sponsor. What's the news? Oh, it's well, there's new iOS news. every yes. day. Probably by the oh time God. you see this, there'll be a new iOS. Yeah. What are we on right now? iOS. So uh, they went. So when the iPhone came out, it mm -hmm. came with 13.0. We told you then, don't bother, because on Tuesday, they're going to update that. Yes. They did, 13.1. We weren't lying. <laughs> Shortly thereafter, they realized there's bugs in 13.1, so they released 13.1.1. Later, there's a fly in my iOS. <laughs> Yesterday, they announced 13.1.2. <laughs> those were specifically, in the, and I think for the most part, those were specifically issues with the new hardware. Because I asked, I asked actually in our new Twit forums, I said, they're doing these like six month long public betas. Don't they catch these bugs in the public betas? And the response, which is makes sense, was, well, 
Yeah, but these current updates are for specific hardware issues with the camera and the new iPhone. That order. makes sense. So they couldn't test that. Nobody had that yet. Right. So, okay, I'll give you a pass. Alex Lindsay always says, don't get the, don't get the first version. Don't get the second version. Mm -hmm. Get the update that fixed the bugs in the second version. So okay. we're actually now the update that fixed the update bugs in the update that fixed the bugs in the second version of the iOS. So... Yeah. Probably it's safe to go in the water. Now, is it a hole in the bottom of the sea? And again, I, sh I should say that it's uh, a very good idea always to apply these updates. Oh, my God. Yeah. Update for security as soon as reasons. they get there. Uh, Not because, just bugs. It, yeah, there are fixes for the camera, some iCloud backup issues. So definitely update for that reason. If you got a HomePod, there's some new HomePod shortcut availability. Uh, and then apparently bugs with flashlight, which I didn't know about. Um, all of those are, are helped, as well as some uh, battery issues. So I saw some people complaining about the new phones not getting the battery life they and expected. And then going crazy when they got 1311. Mm -hmm. They said the battery life is great. 1311 does, uh, as far as we know, 1312 does not fix any exploits or security flaws. But Apple's cagey about those. They, there could be stuff it's fixing that they know about, mm -hmm. but aren't publicly uh, released. So that's why it's always important to get the latest and by the way, the watch is at 6.0.1. Yes. It's very confusing. I, I don't want to complain because I love it. Apple's updating their software. They're fixing bugs and they're doing it quickly. They're not waiting a month to release it or whatever. Right. I understand it's kind of a pain, uh, but but I think it's the right thing to do. If you know there's a I bug like and you fix updates. it. I do too. You know, it reminds me, I remember in college, um, I was walking around the campus and I started complaining because everywhere I go, you'd have to like take a different route because while walking, because there was construction. Oh yeah. And someone said to me, if you don't see construction on a campus, bad then sign. it's a bad sign. And I kind of feel the same way about the, the updates. I, I feel like the more construction we see, the more updates we see, the better overall because it means that things are getting fixed and we're not lingering waiting for the next big release to happen. I like Google's method in that way of of sort of releasing things with the Google Play Store. Yeah, they had to because Android phones were getting updated, so they had to do it that way. Yeah, and, and it's like a, a patch Tuesday. Why not do that a little bit with uh, uh, I just, iOS? I just love the new Halide. You want to talk about that? Yeah, let's talk about the new Halide. <gasps> just came out. I update. finally know how to pronounce it. <laughs> uh, Halide is our favorite third-party camera app, mm -hmm. really written by some brilliant people. Major update. Huge update. Not something you need if you have the older iPhone, but if you have an iPhone 11, especially if you have an 11 Pro, you're mm -hmm. going to really want this. So they actually show you a little splash screen whenever you first launch it. Halide goes Pro. Our new lens switcher allows quick switches with a tap, or you can hold it to see your options. You quickly swipe up from the switcher for a telephoto shot or swipe left for ultra wide. You can also preview the composition when the lens switcher is open so you can see how it would look depending on what lens you're using. And uh, there's a max mode, which gives you high quality shots with the ultra wide camera. Now, they note in here, we talked about this before, that the uh, current setup with through software, I guess it's more, more firmware, but basically uh, you cannot capture raw with the ultra wide lens nor can you focus it because apple just doesn't do that yeah because they're doing some you know internal magic i guess on on trying to would you show me though I, this changing focus thing how do you do that wait the changing changing the lens i oh. mean well see this is new to me as <laughs> well so yeah we're learning i together. couldn't figure that out let's see because every time i swipe it changes the uh the uh oh, yeah. exposure see. control so i don't know if I'm doing something wrong, oh or yeah, what? that's how it's doing with me too. <laughs> okay, okay, so it's no. apparently not just me, folks. Nope. How do I change the lens? Now, where's? Where do I swipe up from? If I turn it on. <laughs> uh... Oh nope! I just swiped it away. <laughs> okay. Maybe I gotta okay. force quit. Uh no no I don't think so. I I see the button you know one plus two plus point five. In the lower corner, one x, two x. Yeah. Oh yeah, but but what's this? Oh, there we go. Oh, I hold see. You swipe up from that button. Yeah, you can also hold it. down on or it. or hold down on it, and then what? And then swipe up. Well, then there's one. See, there, I've got. One. Oh, I see. There's see. there's the. You can see the two different. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I got it. Yeah, and then that's nice. Now, 
I have to say, as okay, that's fine. But honestly, I think the way the Apple phone does it is cooler because it zooms. Yes, I and agree. that that's kind of neat. You can see the zoom, and you can even if you uh, if you want, I think you can. Yeah, if you press and hold, you can choose the zoom like this, and it's smooth. And it's smooth. So honestly, I'm not sure. Hey, why you improve things that much? But okay. I'm, yeah, it's all very confusing. The main reason I use Halide, well, two reasons. One is I love to see the depth camera. <laughs> that is so fun. Let me show you that. If you tap depth, it gives you a depth map. We showed that before of uh, of what you're looking at. But the other reason I really love the Halide is because you can shoot in RAW. And I think for a lot of people, the ability to shoot in RAW, the ability to set manual settings um, is, is really handy. And you can change the focal length manually. So this is this is I kind of a that, more pro the, the focus. Yeah, see where there they where the focus oh, is. That's cool. So this is kind of neat. In fact, this is an illustration of how depth of field could really be fun. I'm moving the focus from near to far near by swiping. Far. And it's showing me the green highlights show me what's in focus. So I can say I want to focus on that thing. That's something Apple's camera does with a tap. This is kind of more interesting at least. So I don't know, you know, it has some features that the Apple camera doesn't have. Here's the shutter speed. I could set that too by swiping up and down. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm in manual mode. I'll go back into auto. So that is the new Halide. Now out and the tactile lens switcher. This is their blog post. Spotify... Now you can talk to spot. This was something I've been complaining about for literally years. This is something Spotify has been complaining about for forever as oh, well. Oh, is it? So it's not Spotify's fault. It's Apple. That's well. That's remember Spotify put up that whole page about. That's right. And then Apple said and, no. It's up to said, you. Anyway, uh -uh. Spotify is is getting Siri support with iOS 13, so yes. you can say, "Hey Siri, play Taylor Swift on Spotify," and it will. Well, yeah, you have to have the app on you. Oh, well, let me see then. Hey, Siri, play Lizzo on Spotify. Spotify hasn't added support for that with Siri. Again, this is in testing right now. Um, oh, so it isn't there yet. Yeah, no, it's not officially available. So th it, that is talking about like with iOS 13, we will finally be able to see it, but it's but currently Spotify in testing. Spotify still has to do something. Spotify now has to add the deep links between Siri and Spotify. Uh, basically, when iOS 13 was announced, <sighs> one of the things that they announced for, or it was, I think it was at WWDC, in fact, one of the things that they announced with Siri Kit was finally media control. Right. And so since oh, WWDC, so it's that. been available. Yeah. Uh, um, so Spotify is been testing the it. They just need yeah. to make it happen. Are and you a Call of Duty fan? Heavens no. <laughs> heavens no. Heavens, heavens to Betsy, no. Oh, heavens to Murgatroyd. <laughs> I would never. Uh, however. There are those who are. There are those who are, and those who are would be excited, I think. I should ask my brother uh, about Call of Duty Mobile. I will, I, will, I will save you a call to your brother, okay. although you should call your brother. Okay. Paul Therott, who is a massive Call of Duty fan and plays it on the console all the time, like ridiculously, says, yay, woo! you can play it because in the past what you've got with Call of Duty on iOS is little uh, mini games. Oh. This is, this is like... This is the real deal. You've got maps. You've got Battle Royale. It's got maps. It's got Battle Royale even. Oh, you clearly are no gamer. No, I don't know what any of that means. <laughs> well, I know what maps means. Uh, it, uh, <laughs> they don't love you like I love you. It is, uh, it is a much more complete Call of Duty experience on mobile. And it's, I think on the iPad, it'd be fantastic. Now, it's free. I'm downloading it right okay, now. Okay, cool, because I want to see what it, how, how, how it works. But more importantly, I think this is a great way for them to make some money because it's free, but it's within our In purchases. App. And it is definitely free-to-play style. That is yeah. for sure. So they have a 100-player Battle Royale, which, mm -hmm. of course, is what Fortnite and PUBG made famous. They have 5x5 five five Team Deathmatch. They have team death They match. have the zombies. They're they're <gasps> back. I know. I've played that. I've That's played fun. Call of Duty Zombies. That's really fun. Are you proud of me? Yeah, they're <laughs> Nazi zombies, so you don't mind killing them, right? And yeah, those regular zombies. I don't. I like don't. To really... I worry because maybe they're nice people. Yeah, like what inside if... <laughs> somewhere the undead nice people. 
Uh, <laughs> you also have a sniper versus sniper version. Oh, uh, some some S some, SVS. Some purchases may be required for the sniper versus sniper version. I don't know. I don't know what you have to pay for. Now this must be a big game. Yeah, it's taking it forever have, to download. Uh, the information on what. How big it is? Probably gigabytes. I oh would my guess. god! Where would it? Uh, where would uh, I down find a that? Bit more. Scroll down all the way to like information. Keep going. Yeah. There it is. One point five. Oh my gigs. god! It's a whole one point five gig. Is that big? That's huge. Okay. Most games are like, well, most apps are like two to five hundred megabytes. And it is uh, seventeen plus because it's gory as heck. Let's see what we have here. Ninety nine cent limited time offers. They have various packs for. Oh, wow. Prestige pack is $100. That's just points. Points for what? You might get costumes and things. I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, this is very much the way these things work. They don't do loot boxes, it looks like, which is nice. Well, and I think the reason why they don't do they loot boxes... Apple lets them, right? Well, it's not that. There are some countries where loot boxes are illegal. As they should be, because they're essentially gambling. Mm -hmm. You give us some money, maybe we'll give you what you want. Maybe. All right, let's turn up the sound because I'm ready to play COD Mobile. Mob. You're right, COD. COD Mob. COD Mob. That's what the kids call it. They do call it that. COD Mob. They're probably kids. It says loading. Know. Please be patient, Micah. I don't have patience. I didn't even know it had. No, how does it know your name? <laughs> Lo loading. Okay, I'm going to accept without reading, as always. Always, yeah. Terms of use and the privacy policy. Yeah, I'm not going to sign with Facebook because I don't have a Facebook guy. I hate that. You can be so a guest. So I have guest. to be a guest? Oh, wait, that's... It should use <gasps> Game Game Center. I don't want notifications. If you're going to be that way. <laughs> if you're going to be that way about it. Um, what should I... What should my character be named? Um, Cheat Master... Blaster. Chief Twit. Oh, okay. Like Master Chief. Oh, That's a Halo of characters. Reference. Yeah. Oh, duh. Oh, look. I'm just trying to prove I'm making I'm a very good funny, and you just missed it almost. Oh, my God. What did you do? Uh, can only have 14 characters. I like Master Chief Twee. <laughs> okay, that's it. Master Chief Twee. <laughs> All right, we're in a barn. Okay. We're in a barnyard. The red dot on the radar map. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Simon okay. Ghost Riley. Welcome to boot camp. Soldier, oh, learn quick. We need you out there. Basic controls. Yeah, it's like all uh, first-person shooters on uh, the iPad. You got your left to move. You got your right to, move. to view. Oh, is it like? And then, uh, all right, we're going to move here. Pick that up. Tap it to pick up. All right. Got oh, me something yeah. to shoot. This looks not too difficult. Move the crosshairs over the target to fire. All oh, right. I think this is better played on a phone then. Oh, it just—it's oh, it's it's auto fire. Bloody. Well, that's nice. It's oh, auto fire, okay, and then reload nice. here. All right. Yeah, that's a, you know it looks pretty good. Now, Simple. when people complain, that's unfair. They get to auto fire on iOS, or Tap do you only aim. play against other? Oh, this is the sniper rifle. Headshot, headshot. Wait, a sniper rifle that fires that quickly? Yeah, isn't that cool? <laughs> well, I don't know about cool. Settings, control tap, settings. Okay, settings. That's simple mode. Mm -hmm. uh, and you'd probably want to limit auto fire range when hip firing. Whatever. True, yeah. As everybody knows that. I tend And then I here's tend advanced to. mode. Tap adds, hip fire. You know, I'm going to be a wimp. <laughs> oh, I, apparently I, I have to leave it there. This is the advanced fire tutorial. Kill the enemies. <sighs> Reload. Sorry about all the blood and gore, kids. Yeah, it's very bloody. I like simple, because I'm a simple man. Yeah, well, Call of Duty, baby. <laughs> That's COD for you. That's, That's COD, COD Mob. COD Mob. Ladies and gentlemen, COD Mob. So, because it's 17+, plus, then your That's iCloud why. account... Your Apple ID account would have to suggest, like your date, your birthday, you'd have to be 17 and over to be able to download it. Is that the case? Yeah. Interesting. I guess. I don't know. How does that work? When the score reaches a certain level, you score streaks to kill enemies. Streaking. Score streak. Bomb. I'm just missile by controlling the view. Tap twice to boost. 
<laughs> Pay seven dollars. I just predatored them. This is this is horrible. This is horrific. Wait, this did you get nightmare. what is it called when you die immediately? What'd you call that? <laughs> when you die immediately? Like you said, you you would play <laughs> Fortnite, but every time you I landed, get greased. You would, greased. Yeah. Did you get greased? <laughs> No, I won. Oh, oh, good job. But it was a tutorial. All right. Actually, it looks like fun. I might be playing more of that. Oh, does it work with controllers, I wonder? Probably, but I don't know. Well, I don't know. So it's out, but that's it for our news. Now it's time to tell you about my headphones. <gasps> also tailored to my head. Actually, these fit any head. Oh, look, he's got his. These are our aftershocks. We love our we aftershocks. Love our aftershocks. I have the new Aeropex, which I really like. Aftershocks are the most comfortable headphones ever. Michael will vouch for this because he's because we did a conference call the other day and I was wearing them. He thought yes. I was making it up when I said I wore my aftershocks. I wear them around the house all day. Yes, because they're so comfortable. And they don't go in your ear. That's the other reason I like them. So I can hear people talking to me if I'm running or bicycling outside. I can hear vehicles. You're not isolating yourself from the world, but you are hearing amazing high-quality audio through your cheekbones. Oh. Goes through your cheekbones to your inner ear and completely bypasses your eardrum. I'm not kidding. I know it sounds like I am, but I'm not. <laughs> He's really not kidding. I'm not. It works. I was skeptical. I understand your skepticism. Yeah. Something new now called Premium Pitch, which guarantees a premium audio experience, wide dynamic range, rich bass. Actually, it's really cool because Aftershocks come with earplugs because people would say, no, come on, it's going in through my ear hole. So they say they give you earplugs. You put your earplugs in and actually it even sounds better. Yeah. I've, it's uh, awesome. I tried that at home and I was like, wow. Bluetooth 4.1 with multi-point pairing. So I pair it to everything in my house, whatever I'm, what, if, wherever that conference call is coming in. Yes, it supports phone calls as well as music. I listen to music. I listen to my books. So I'm walking around. Phone call comes in. I tap it. Boom, pick up the phone call. When I'm done, hang up and keep listening to my music. IP55 certified. Now, these are the original aftershocks to repel sweat, dust, and moisture from workouts to bad weather. Charge is uh, fast in an hour and a half. Gives you six hours of continuous music and calls on a single charge. Ten-day standby time and a hassle-free two-year warranty. I love aftershocks. And I love it that they don't isolate me from the world around me, so they're perfect for exercise. I can hear my trainer and still listen to my music. Oh, oh, that's actually a really... <sighs> Honey, I've found every way to use these headphones mankind could think of. <laughs> I just wear them everywhere. I love them. They also have the new Aeropex, advanced audio, longer battery life, and waterproof and submersible up to one meter for 30 minutes. So this is, if you swim, if you spend time in the water, if you surf... I could use them while I was showering. And they never fall off. You could actually wear these surfing. They do not fall off because of this titanium band that wraps around your head. For your slow fees. For your slow fees. They also have a, a number of tech bundles right now. In fact, we're going to give you a great deal on an Aftershocks tech bundle. If you go to iostoday.aftershocks.com, use our code IOS today. That'll do two things. First, they'll know you saw it here, which helps us. And second, you'll be helping us and yourself because you're going to get a $50 discount at checkout. But you got to use the code iOS today. And I'm sorry, you have to be in the U.S. Offer valid in the U.S. only. iOSToday.aftershocks.com. Use the code iOS today. A-F-T-E-R-S-H-O-K-Z. K-Z. Not C-K-S. K-Z. Aftershocks. iOSToday.aftershocks.com. Use the code iOS today for $50 off any tech bundle you see there. I really love these. I do. I, I do. don't know how to say that in any other way, but I do. Carry them around. I uh, walk around with them on. Yeah, they come with the and the tech bundle. You get a nice little. Oh yeah, that's right. Carrying case, and I love it. Uh, what's next? Time for it's questions. Time for some questions and some ask, feedback. Ask, ask, ask us by sending messages to iOS Today at twit.tv. We have a phone number. Do you ever check that? I don't know how. I don't either. <laughs> I think I'll take that off the website. Yeah. Hey, Siri, <laughs> and how if do you, we call that phone? If you called. I'm sorry. We don't, we just don't know. Maybe I think need, it's still Sarah Lane's voice. I don't think anybody's looked at that for years. So Maybe we need to make a new one or something. It's a Google voice number. We probably could get access to it. I have to figure out how. Yeah. <laughs> one of us will get on that. <laughs> there must be some You know, way. I wouldn't even know. I just noticed because I was at the website and it says call this number. And I thought, oh, 
I hope Micah knows that. I did. I did. But uh, you I remember bringing, no, I remember bringing it up. And then you said, well, I don't know how to access that. So <laughs> Next time you hike with Megan, will you ask her? Yes, I will. She, I think she knew. See that number? 757-504-IPAD. See, that's cute. We need to get that back. It's probably, a go I'll have to see if I have the login. It's probably a Google voice number. Maybe it's in your uh, pass one. My, I, my last pass? Yeah, yeah, that one. Probably is. All right, so feedback. Uh, our first question comes from Todd from somewhere in Indiana. Uh, I am going to read this whole thing because there's a great little bit, bit at the end. Using the new universal dark mode in iOS on my 11 Pro Max does not extend to all individual websites or apps. With the dark mode yes, on, we know. when I go to an app, I must tap the on-off button three times to get that page to display in dark mode. What is the best way for oh, consumer users? I didn't even know you could do that. That's actually a great tip. <laughs> What's the best way for consumer users to provide feedback to Apple on issues like they this? They know. Believe me, they know. Enjoy the show. Twerk on, Jimmy. Twerk on, Jimmy. Thank you, Todd. Uh, Jimmy will twerk on, trust me. She's our uh, dancing bear. And if you haven't seen Hands on Tech this week, you ain't seen nothing yet. You ain't seen yet. nothing yet, kid. Uh, so Todd, yes, this is a known issue. Um, it's and always, <laughs> I think I, I'm hallucinating. It's always an issue. Uh, when, uh, Android went through this, when mm -hmm. you go to dark mode, not all the apps are in dark mode. Not all the websites, most websites are not, uh, are in our new twit community forums. I decided I'm going to start in dark mode. Nice. And you can change it if you want, but I think People people want their it's easier on the eyes. So. Yeah. Well, and it seems like what uh, what Todd's talking about here is apps that actually have enabled it, and maybe sites too that have enabled it. That for some reason, They're even though I have it. Universal turned on, it's not turning it on. That is th so. It's new. This 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 whole dark mode is new, and iOS has a new what API or something to plug into dark mode, and so it's just probably some bugs that need to be worked out. But the question that I thought was the good one is at the end. Best Twerk way for on Jimmy. Yes, the best way for consumer users to provide feedback to Apple on issues like this. Yes. Uh, so there is an app called Feedback that when you're using betas is automatically oh. downloaded to... But can anybody use not, it? That's a good question. I don't know if you can get it if you don't have a beta. Um, I, don't, I don't know because I'm, I'm off the beta now and I don't see it. And I don't think I deleted it. I think they might have deleted it for me. Yes, the first thing they do when you do the beta is they install that because that's the whole point is you're giving them feedback. Apple, um, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you have to be... I think you have to be an Apple beta tester to use the feedback. But Apple does have ways you can talk to them. The problem is uh, you have to have a developer account if you want to leave a bug report. Yeah. Most of the stuff, frankly, is stuff that they probably already know about, that there are people out there. But if you're on the public beta, you're pro you may be a consumer. Tweet. No, no. If you're on the public beta, then you are likely a consumer who wants early access to the stuff, who uh, wants to send feed, or maybe wants to send feedback. That's how you do it. Uh, by being on the public beta, then you do get access to that feedback app and you can send that information in. So they make it super simple. You take a screenshot now and one of the options in the share sheet is send feedback. It'll capture the you know running data and all that kind of stuff at the time. And you can send that in uh, to to leave your feedback. Other than that, yeah, I guess you can tweet, and maybe someone will hear you. But we're all shouting into a void, and does I anything have a really matter? I have a question for you. It's kind of a maybe you know the answer to it. I hope somebody called the radio show and said that the pencil doesn't work universally. So, and I'm trying to remember exactly what he said. Now, I am able to tap. I think it was in mail. He said, can I, can I, I can't tap to get in. But maybe it's the cut and paste thing. I can't remember. Look at now. this. Oh, well, we know that Google Docs don't scroll. No, no, no. Right? I'm talking about trying to swipe up from oh, the bottom yeah. of the screen to go home. So, it's my sense that the pencil doesn't work every, in every context. And I mm -hmm. think this is an intentional thing from Apple. Mm -hmm. Like, you can do this. You can launch stuff, but yeah, you can't do that. It absolutely is an intentional thing. In fact, uh, at one point, they completely removed navigation with the Apple Pencil. 
They made it so you could only use it like within apps. So I can swipe now like with the Apple Pencil. So yes. I can double tap. I that can was open added folders. back because of feedback. People that, said that people said, "Hey, I want to use my Apple Pencil everywhere. I just paid seven hundred thousand dollars for right. it. I better be able to use it how I want to." But you notice, like I cannot launch the uh, multitasking screen with it. There are multiple things that I'm unable to do with the Apple Pencil. So this is. What? Intentional? Yeah, it's meant, they they really do want it to be an input device. Well, I'm throwing my uh, pencil away. Not a navigation device. You said, I'm done with it. Well, I guess that was his point, is I can not I can do stuff with my finger, I can't do it with a pencil. That's right. Yes, that is correct. That is not a bug. That's Unfortunately, a that is a feature. Yeah. I would call it a decision. Yeah. Uh, no, it's not courage, darn it. I almost cursed. It's courage. <sighs> All right, here's uh, some feedback from Domenico, also from somewhere in Indiana. Uh, somebody's saying copy and paste malfunctions on iPad OS. Is that a malfunction or is it intentional? That's our question. That's interesting. I don't know. Yeah. I know, I know that uh, Apple Pencil genuinely is, uh, has some limitations based on what In fact, it sounds like it does more than it used to. Yes. They didn't want you yeah. to even do the, the few little things mm -hmm. you can do now, like gestures. Yep. All right. Sorry, go ahead. No, no, that's okay. Uh, Domenico from somewhere in the end of some feedback. You asked how people use the when app opens trigger in shortcuts. Here's how I use it. My daughter does math homework in Khan, or does math work in Khan Academy mm, on nice. my iPad Pro every day. And it always bugged me that she'd be interrupted by my notifications because I would forget to turn on do not disturb first. Plus she's constantly asking, has it been an hour? Is my time up? <laughs> now when the Khan Academy app opens, do not disturb is turned on for one hour and then a one hour timer is set. Blissful peace for me and for her. That's a great idea. If you have an app that you want to use, uh, maybe you're getting really into COD. You don't want to be distracted by notifications, but you know that you don't want to look up and suddenly it's seven hours later. You could set up a shortcut that's called uh, Leo's when Nanny. Is open. When, uh, yeah, when COD is open, set a timer for two hours and turn on Do Not Disturb. Love it. I should do that for this show. When iOS Today is on... Yeah, you could uh, tie it to your calendar. Yeah. Uh, that's then a great when idea. iOS today is on, don't nice. send me send a message saying I'll be there in a bit. Yeah. <laughs> you guess when. Go have a coffee. Uh huh. Uh, uh, watch take some your TV. morning dance classes. <laughs> and then show up. And then you'll be here after Pilates. <laughs> uh, so thank you for that feedback. I also got some feedback from a soon to be co host, uh, Matthew Casanelli, on Twitter. He let me know all of the shortcuts that he uses that involve launching an app. I'm not going to go into all of them because it's like 12 or something like that. Oh, but yeah, he sent me a useful. list on Twitter. Um, so mm -hmm. you can uh, see his tweet there uh, and, and see all of the different ones that he uses. Probably He's, Federico Vicici or somebody has documented this. Yeah. So he, Matthew Gastinelli has documentation of like 150 different shortcuts that he wow. uses wow. for different things that you can go online and check out. I got to to teach you as well. I got to get more into shortcuts. Yeah, you'll have to. So there it goes. Uh, so this is 150 and counting that are all available on his website. Um, I think he's using Airtable or something like that. So you can go through and see they're nice. all categorized in different ways. This isn't the same guy that's doing the show with you. Yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> yes. This is my, this Sorry, is my soon to be co-host. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I thought it was just some guy off no, the street. No, no, it's no, Matthew. No. Yeah, all it's right. Matthew. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, so if you, if you, I didn't know that, is that his main thing is shortcut guy? Yeah. He's also co-host of smarter tech today, smart, smart tech, tech today, today, which is the new show that Micah and Matthew will be doing. There's his page on our Twit site. Nice. And there's smart tech today. The yeah. First he is episode zero came out uh, on Sunday and you'll have a new episode. One will be next this week. Monday. Yeah. This Monday. This, com this coming Monday. Yep. Awesome. Uh, yeah. So anyway, he is an automation expert. I'm sure if you have any uh, shortcuts you are thinking about, he will talk your ear off about it if you ask. He'll nice. be in studio on that day. Fantastic. Um, That's great. So yeah. Any hoodles. So um, Mike uh, in our chat room is saying the problem is things like you can cut and paste a URL in Safari with the pencil, but you can't can't do it in some places. You can't do another. You can't really cut and paste in the two and subject li uh, lines, but you can in the body. So it's that's it's a bug. inconsistent. That's yeah. a bug. If it's not consistent, <gasps> well, that's look. a bug. Yeah, you can copy and paste, but then okay. go ahead and see if you can paste that somewhere. All can right. you paste it in the URL? Try it in the uh, URL. Oh, well now, yeah, because that's just letting me draw. Okay, let me go back. 
Boop, boop. Press and hold. Oh, my God. You can't. So there's no pasting there. What the? Yeah. So it just needs to, Apple needs to make up his mind, I guess, is the bottom line. I did not have the answer when the, when the fella called. I, I didn't understand that, but now I do, that that is something. Wait. That, I just did it. But it was very difficult to make happen. Well, apparently it's an iOS bug. Anyway. Yeah, I'm going to call that a bug. Given that I can, um, and look, I can drag that text, and then I could open up notes and probably drop it in there. Yeah, so it kind of works. <laughs> that's the problem. It doesn't work everywhere, yeah. so that's frustrating. To people. It's not consistent. Yeah, yeah. Because some people, I gather, and this is really what's happening, it's, it was contrary to Apple's expectation. Apple didn't think you'd use a pencil for a replacement as a, for a finger. They thought, right. oh, you're going to use your finger for all that this stuff. Is the for pencil art. is for art. art. But people uh, often want that fine control. And, used, and it turns out people are using their pencils uh, as they would use a finger in a lot of circumstances. Yeah. In fact, I was able to just take some text from the web. And it's a nice, precise way to do it. And drop it into yeah. a message to you. So sorry that you got that message. But about product feedback? About Thank product you. feedback. You're, you're so welcome. I appreciate that. I appreciate your appreciation. Okay. Uh, Steve from Hi, Steve. Sussex, Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. I have questions about the revised shortcuts app with iOS 13. Ask Matthew Casanelli. Next. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it appears that the automatic routines only run automatically with a limited number of apps. Ugh. I tried setting up an automatic routine to turn off Wi-Fi when I leave my house. Yes. But it won't do that automatically. Oh. I get a notification when I leave the house, but I have to press on it like an animal and then select run to get the routine to execute. Do you know what the limitations are? This ask is... Ask Matthew. Yeah, well, ask, ask Matthew. No, but this is a hashtag ask Matthew. This is a sort of um, disagreement between what Apple thinks is right and proper... Uh, and security-based versus what a consumer might want. This is a little bit hand-holdy, and it does become an issue. Sometimes, it's a security issue? Well, there are lots of things that are tied behind prompts. Uh, now. So they don't want to do stuff. Some stuff they feel shouldn't be automated. Mm -hmm. You should have to be told, okay, we're going to turn off Wi-Fi. If you wanted to do that, press run. Mm -hmm. In, instead of just doing it and not and behind the scenes and you didn't know Wi-Fi was turned off and that might make you angry. Yes. However, that makes sense because, for instance, if you're at home and you're on and you want to be using Wi-Fi instead of using expensive minutes on your cell plan, mm -hmm. you you might be kind of surprised and app angry at Apple. Uh, my Wi-Fi's off. Right. I get so it. basically, what I'm saying is, go into the, your shortcuts and go specifically to that shortcut. You know what? Yes. I want a shortcut of the week. Oh, my. I think that's a new feature. Show more. Uh, see, that's not one either. There <laughs> there are some uh, shortcuts that let you You have now created a shortcut off. that does weird Let's things. Let's see. Uh, with a doc. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what this is made to do. Uh, I'm trying to think about. Okay, no, that one needs. Here we go. I bet this one will have one. Oh, it was Mike and SD was the guy who called the radio show. That's why he knows oh, all this. Hi. Yes, you're right, Mike. That's I was puzzled at the time, but we've confirmed with experts. That's, we have. That's a bug, not a feature. That is, hello, there you go. Hello. That's a bug, not a hello. In this case, it's a feature, not a bug. Yes. Because they don't want some stuff to happen without user uh, influence. Yes. User con confirmation, especially stuff that might bite you later or bite them later. Yeah, that so I sense. can't get any of these to... We get show it. me that, but you get the idea. There it. are some where it says um, ask via prompt or something like that. And we'll all look into it and get the exact we thing. We need to do more shortcuts because we need to show people what you can do with these things. I, I'm willing next week to come up with a shortcut. Okay. Maybe you can too. Yeah. We'll just do a quick shortcut of the week before we put on funny hats. I love it. Not that this show needs to get any longer. It's already out of control. See, because we were also going to do an arcade game of the week. <laughs> oh, yeah. Never mind. I got too many ideas, Maybe, too little time. You know, we'll just now you know why all the other Twitch shows have gotten to be four-hour magnum opuses. We're gonna do shortcut of the week on uh, STT. Okay, good. Whatever that is. Oh, <laughs> Smart Tech Today. <laughs> good. You know what? Watch Smart Tech Today. Shortcut of the week. Yeah. Brilliant. Or some sort of automation of the week. Yeah, it I like come that. from Zapier. It could routine come from, of the week. Yeah, routine, that's a great, a great routine idea. Of the week. Yeah, yeah, automation of the week. Uh, all right, we're going to get our app caps on in just a second, but first a word from Gazelle. Oh, yeah, I know you want that new iPhone. I know you do, but who can afford to spend all that money 
Not many people. On a new phone, unless, you know, it's too bad you couldn't find somebody to buy your old phone. Or maybe all those phones and gadgets those and gizmos phones. in the drunk drawer. Do you have one of those? Every geek does. Or some of us have larger Tupperware containers. Some of us have giant trunks. Some of us have uh, actual <laughs> storage units. <laughs> I know people with storage units for their old uh, gadgets and gizmos. Sell them. They're, there's cash in that their drawer. Mm -hmm. Gazelle's the place, the trusted online marketplace for selling used electronics. Get them out of the graveyard. It's as if you're looking in the drawer and seeing all that stuff, and, and what you should be seeing is dollar bills. Cha-ching! Check out Gazelle for competitive offers on your phones, your tablets. They take iPhone 5 through iPhone XS Max. They take some Samsung Galaxy phones. They take some tablets. It's extremely con convenient. You just, <clears throat> they're going to, Ask simple questions online regarding the condition of the phone and the carrier. And then you get an instant price quote. Quotes are good for 30 days. You, shipping is always free. Payment is fast. You can either receive a box. Say, yes, I'm going to sell all this stuff. Then they'll send you a box, prepaid uh, box. Or they'll you can have a, a prepaid shipping label you just print. If you want to get rid of it now, like, no, I don't want to wait for a box. Let's just do it now. No problem. Use your box. Here's the label. It's just awesome. Quotes are good for 30 days. There's not isn't really a rush. In fact, a lot of times people say, okay, I'm going to sell my phone, get the new phone, copy the data over, then ship it to you. That's fine. you got 30 days. And here's a really cool part. When Gazelle receives your item, if it's in better condition than you thought, and this has happened to me many mm -hmm, times, same. they'll actually give you more money. They'll increase your offer. Sometimes, maybe you uh, didn't notice that crack all the way down the back. Sure, you didn't notice. They'll lower your <laughs> offer. But you don't have to accept it. You can say, oh, well, well I'm send it back to me in that case at no risk. You can always accept or deny any quote. Now, payment's fast, too. They will uh, send you a check if you want. They'll PayPal you. That's faster. Best thing, though, if you ask me, is get the Amazon gift card because they, they bump it up a little bit as a way of saying thank you. So it's worth a little bit more. Gazelle even has custom trade-ins for businesses with 10 or more devices to sell. That's us. We use Gazelle. That's what we do. We collect all the old phones from all our hosts, and we Gazelle them. If you're looking to buy a certified pre-owned device, buy. Yes, they have them for sale, too, because that they take the cream of the crop, the cherry stuff they get, and they sell it. After, of course, a thorough checkout. Gazelle has an incredible selection of pre-owned devices at very good prices. Don't let your old device gather dust. Don't let that drawer fill up. Get money. Lock in the value of your phone. Get an extra $10 on your first trade-in. Right now, $50 or more at gazelle.com slash twit. An extra 10 bucks, yes. Gazelle, G-A-Z-E-L-L-E dot com slash twit. We are wearing special hats today. This is my official twit kepi. Goes very nicely, I think, with my outfit. As does yours. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Oh, my goodness. That's handmade by one of our fine listeners. Looks good. Great match. Oh, love it. Yeah. Um, and it's kind of cool today out, so perfect. We're wearing twit caps because we want to celebrate the launch celebrate of our brand new twit launch. forums. This was something uh, John O'Bacon, I interviewed him a couple weeks ago. I said, what should somebody do who wants to really foster community? He said, number one thing, create a forum. I said, we've had forums in the past, but... Really? They're kind of hard to manage stuff. He said, use this software called Discourse. It's made, it's modern, it's made for moderation. And I have to say, he was absolutely yep. right. Then I got an email from somebody who said, you know, it'd be really nice because I don't, I can't be in chat. I don't watch the shows live. The chat, which is a great and is never going away, is a great social network for people who are watching the show live, mm -hmm. isn't as useful if you're not watching live because you go there and they're talking about something else by the time you get there. So we've created the forums. It's at twit.community. That's easy to remember. Or you can go to community.twit.tv. But twit.community is the site. It's a discourse forum. Sign up. Everybody's welcome. Uh, Micah's in there. I'm in there. I hope to get all our hosts in there. Uh, yeah. Matthew should join Ant's us. Ant's in, in there. Ant's really been active. He's, I think, the most active user. Uh, please take a look. Twit.community. It's another way you can talk. I don't want to say to us. With us. With us. We yeah. can have a conversation um, and Mike is going to make us a nice new logo, <laughs> he says. Well, yes, because I think uh, it's good. It's a good logo. And every, by the way, every time a show comes out, when this show comes out, there will be it'll have a post right there on the form. Actually, Zapier does that automatically for us. 
And that way, uh, you'll be able to respond to this show. The, if you're not watching live, see, that's the whole problem, right? If you say, you guys are idiots, but you're not watching live, twit.community. Head to twit.community. You'll see the show episode. You'll be able to pop in there and say, you guys are idiots. And then I will moderate it away. <laughs> no, no. We're actually, I'm kidding. I'm teasing. Well, be not, I mean, don't be constructive criticism. Yes. Don't be mean. But uh, I think, you know, there's a, when you first get there, there's a whole thing about how to make it a good place. I think so far, it's been incredible. Mm -hmm. We really just kind of made it public this weekend. And it's the response has been phenomenal. So thank you. And we'll see you in there, twit.community. We also wear caps to celebrate the best app of the week. Mm -hmm. What do you got for us? All right, all right. So, you know, oh, no. Okay, good. Never mind. I thought it didn't know me anymore. Oh, no, oh, no. you don't know me. It's because you're wearing a dumb hat. Oh, this isn't a dumb hat. This is a warm <laughs> hat. Um, the app that I'm talking about is called Astound. And I say it like that. Astound. 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 I am astounding because oh, it is very I can astounding. talk so good. Wow, listen to how I sound with Astound. <laughs> um, astound is a voice coach. Oh, well, like how? Like hell. Like singing? No, no, not like singing. Speaking? Like speaking. Really? Yeah. Now. Is that how you got to speak so good? No, I think I wanted to check this out because many people in my family talk about how odd it is that I speak do, like a northerner. No, that I do this thing because for them, public speaking is sort of... They're and, scared. And so, yeah. yeah. And so every time... And you're a natural. Well, I don't know. But every time I'm home, you know, like, I, someone they inevitably don't believe brings you can on do that conversation. That. They're like, where does, where does that come from? Because it doesn't seem to come yeah. from the family. And... Uh, came from somewhere. Came from, right, exactly. <laughs> uh, and so I th know that there are people out there who need to speak in different situations. Oh, so this would be helpful if you do have difficulty with public speaking, but you've got to do it for your job. It's or helpful for that. It's helpful. That, look, there are some different types. So if you have an important call coming up, if you have a meeting coming oh, up that you want to sound great. good on, if you are going to be doing a recording, if you're doing customer care, as well as dating, <gasps> you're meeting in front of a group, you have to do something on stage, you're getting ready for an interview, and then things like hoarseness, how to help with your voice and anxiety, uh, as well as some articulation issues. So if you uh, tend to be a mumbler, um, what do you mean by there, that? I, what do you mean uh, by that? <laughs> uh, uh, there are some folks, uh, some friends, um, mm -hmm. who I would, you know, joke around with, like, I have no idea what you just said, um, because of the mumbling. And so th I think that that's an interesting thing, as well as uh, folks who have trouble with lisping. There's all sorts of uh, different types of, of techniques. But what I love about this, um, is that it's not just for folks who want to like sort of learn how to speak, but for folks who are already doing this, I had some helpful exercises that I learned in checking out this app. Um, some stretching exercises, some voice yoga, including something where- Voice I, yoga? Yes. So it's it's stretches, but that end up helping with uh, different parts of the Is that like locality. red leather, yellow leather? No, in fact, so the one that I'm going to talk about here, uh, they tell you sit in a chair mm -hmm. with your arms out to your side, dangling at your sides. And because of the connections between your uh, the muscles in your shoulder and the ones in your neck, by doing the following technique. So okay. first we're going to do, uh, we're going to take our shoulder mm -hmm. and we're going to do small circles forward. Okay. The moment you walk, in the joint. And then slowly increase them. I knew Get you were a man Good. of distinction. A real <laughs> big spender. And now, bring it up. Hey, big spender. And breathe in. And then you're going to breathe out and drop it down while going. <sighs> and this helps to stretch out these muscles in here. It will then help to sort of expand your vocality. I need to do more of this. Yeah. And there were several I ones. I think it's helped my voice already, already Micah. Wow. As well as, go ahead and take your two fingers, your, your yes. index finger and your middle finger, and put them onto your jaws up here near your ears, where you can feel kind of your cheekbones uh, there, and run along here, really massaging those muscles. And then... You're going to take your fingers and run them along your chin down and let your jaw kind of get stretched out. Yeah. Uh, 
So our jaws are made with these muscles that run around the outside. They're very powerful muscles, it's but they, they're really good about keeping your mouth closed, but not very good about uh, allowing you to open your mouth. Yeah, 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 yeah. We yes. used to do this. Did you ever do this in acting class? I've done the, we did all the like red leather, yellow leather. Yeah, and like, loosen um, your jaw. What to do, the beat to tattoo with 20 till two, but the rat to tat to tat to tat that one. Anyway, um, there are a bunch of different exercises in here, and that's what I found really nice because they'll have you record your voice at the beginning, uh, a sentence, and then have you record your voice at the end, the same sentence after you've performed these different exercises, and then you can actually compare. And genuinely, my voice sounded more open, sounded more full, and I think that something I that gotta try this. folks who are naturals uh, with speaking, one of the things that they're still not good at unless they're like classically trained uh, singers is is uh, breath support. We could all use yes. a little bit more understanding of breath support and diaphragm action. And so that's why I ended up getting this app because I wanted to learn a little bit more about breath support and how support comes from down here to really make our voices powerful and to project. So this is uh, Astound. Is it free? It is. This is the thing. Oh. So it is, and I've got a note here so I can remember. You want 10% if you get a job. Uh, so it is free for... There are in-app purchases. Uh, yeah. So nine workout packs with unlimited oh, okay. use, three oh, workout nice. sessions from the 30-day challenge with unlimited use, unlimited voice recordings, oh. and you can actually send in your recordings uh, to get feedback. What? Uh, the first three are free. And then there's a subscription. There's a one-month subscription for six fifty a month. A year is 50 a bucks. Year is I would 50 do bucks. that. That yeah. sounds reasonable. Or six months is- uh, if, you're, if you're a budding podcaster- Absolutely. Uh, if you want to, if you give public, do public speaking, if you just want to get a date. Yeah, a date or a, you're going to go do an interview that's really important to you. Yes. And you might have trouble with Because, you know, sometimes you get very nervous when mm -hmm. you're, and it'd be nice to have these relaxation. It teaches about anxiety and how that affects yeah. the voice. Because I mean, it makes it high. Yeah, you kind of, hi, I really want this job. And something that, uh, that I always used to have an issue uh, with, uh, not this microphone so much, but I had a microphone where I didn't have a very good... Uh, pop. pop filter. Pop. Plosives. It teaches you about plosives. plosives. Plosive. Well, I'm going to try this. Articulation, That's pitch, Good recommendation. Tempo, et cetera. Good recommendation. Yeah. Thank you. So that is... You know, it's funny. Both style. of our um, app caps are educational today. Because my app cap is going to teach you how... Okay, I was about to... To drive say. like a crazy man. It's Mario. Oh, Finally came me. out. Oh, it's Mario. a me. Hey, it's a Mario. So we've been waiting for this. I pre-signed up for it and everything, and then I got the email. And it takes about an hour to sign in. Well, not only the first time. I, I've been playing it on my phone. And as you can see, oh, crud, now I have to download 241 megabytes. As you can see, it's really designed, I think, for the phone, although so, this is not a phone size app. Name all the characters. Uh, the guy with the M is Mario. That's Luigi. Yes. That's Princess somebody or other. Oh, my God. That's Toad. Yes. That's Dragon Breath. Yes. Dragon Breath Boy. Now, who's in the air? Um, Mr. Microphone. <laughs> That's him. Who is that? It's Yoshi. 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 Yeah, I know. I know them. I. You know what? I'm not of the Mario generation, believe it or not. So that's one of the reasons this uh, does not really resonate with me. What's that one called? Neither Pokemon Banana Peel. Yep. <laughs> Neither Pokemon nor Mario really speak to me. But Harry Potter spoke to you. Yeah, because my kids. Oh. So I am I just kind of missed it. I think that the whole, I have a missing gene. <laughs> that's what it is. So this and who's downloading that character? still. That's the Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty? I like yeah. that. Yeah. Ba -ba. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Now, even though I am a novice in Mario Kart, I have so far won every single race, which makes me think you can't actually lose. <laughs> Wait, what? Because I am terrible at Mario Kart. Ready, set, rocket, start. You ready? You ready? I'm you so ready? ready. Tap and hold the screen when the countdown reaches two. That's all I know. Three. Two. Tap and hold from two to go, to go two for a rocket go. start. Don't do it at the beginning of two. Nah. Oh. oh Whoa, it's a Mario. I'm surprised you didn't stall. That felt a little too soon. Cleared. D -d 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 yeah, it's Mario. It must be, it must be Looks pretty good on the iPad, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I'm telling you, I don't know what it is. I cannot lose in this game. 
I cannot lose. I've Maybe won. some mode that's like kids mode. I must be on moron mode. I must be on. <laughs> it's please don't make my Look, child cry mode. I finished the cup. I can replay races. That was no, not a race. Was... I think the reason they're doing this is because they want to get to the part where you pay them. Can we do like a five dollars a, a month real race? Oh, is it really five bucks a month? Yeah. Wait, it's a subscription. It's a subscription. So Nintendo has no been notorious for money grabbing. The, remember the Super Mario Run? You played ten levels or some some number of levels, and then, and then all of a sudden like it said that'll be twenty dollars if yeah. you want to play another one. And uh, so far, I've paid nothing, but I keep waiting. Somebody told me it's going to be. I'm just waiting for like a me. real game. Who's Pauline? Huh? Who is Pauline? She's the girl you have to rescue save in Donkey Kong. Oh, oh. Mario's first game they're ever. mixing it up. So there's a lot of this. I don't really get this. Would you show this? What's this all about? The pipe that shoots out stuff. I don't know because usually you're going down into the pipe. I know. I got Koopa Troopa. Triple green shells. What happened there? I don't know. I have no idea. Keep on racing. Soon you'll conquer every cup. Login bonus. Oh this is God. one of those games where I just want to race. Can I just, <laughs> can I just, Donkey Kong Cup? Shall we do it? Let's New do York it. Tour. Here we go. You get to choose. Does this have classic? Stages? Which item do you want? Which bonus points? Which Dino jingle? Dino. 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 Watch. I can't lose. All these people. Are they real people? Are they fake people? I don't know. Ooh, this is cool. <laughs> this is, this is pretty sweet. This is the GCN Dino Dino Jungle, Dino Dino Jungle. <laughs> That's me and the... Actually, one is Dino. The other is Dino. Really? No. Are you saying that to confuse me? I'm, yes, that. No, too soon. <laughs> okay. No, too late. Oh, no, you got it. A little bit. Uh, so, there's two. There's a choice at the beginning whether you want to go in drift mode or just normal mode. You tried this and... Oh, my! Oh, my, oh, my. son tried this. Uh, was it my... Was it, was it Henry? Yeah. Okay, yeah, Henry tried it. And uh, he said, you, you, you don't, you're always drifting. Yes, it's not, not easy. Don't do drift mode unless you're special. Unless you're very good. Unless you're very good. I never played but this you, game as a kid. You can't so. lose, apparently. Apparently, I can't lose. I've won every race I've been in. Now, that's partly, see, I'm in first now. Partly because, well, I don't know, what, are they just Why sitting on the no line? Doing, yeah, no one else Maybe is nobody else boost? is playing. Maybe they're just, oh, oh somebody shot me. Son of oh, a... Oh, now you're in second. No. Good job, I'll Laura. Watch out, Laura. You're dead meat to me. <laughs> Toad. Toad. Uh-oh. Boom, uh -oh. boom, boom. No, no. You wanted to send that behind you. I did? Yeah. because How do first. I do that? Like that? Well, I don't know on this one. I think I did. I Probably. think I just sent it to her. Oh, yeah. Good work. <laughs> Someone's got uh, the <laughs> multi mushrooms. Watch out for that <gasps> Dino. Oh, hang gliding. That's cool. Yeah. It's fun, right? That's what worries me. It's going to be so much fun You're gonna end up paying it. that I'm going to end up giving them five bucks a month. I don't like that it's subscription. Just let me pay once. Yeah, this is the new thing. Okay, you see those water? Oh, 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 right behind me. I'm going to win, though, and I did. No, that's... I was going to say there should second, be at least second two laps. laps. Second lap, same as the first. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. I've got something. i got mushrooms. i got toads. That makes you faster. Shall I do it? Uh, not while the dino legs are in the way. Let's get rid of the dino legs, yeah. and then I'm going to speed yeah. up. Whoa. Oh, yeah, maybe not in there. Not now bit. either. Let's get a straightaway. What do you say? Is not this exciting, children? No! Whoa! I fooled you, didn't this I? This game has bumpers. It has. I apparently can't. I'm telling you, I can't lose. Let's drop that banana. There you go. Just in case drop somebody's like behind me. Drop it like it's hot. Here we go. 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 You hit somebody. You hit I got a Yoshi combo. I hit him. Yeah, he was work. way behind me, apparently. Oh. Bass. Fish. Wow, they're so far behind. How'd they even I know. I don't. Whoa. Oh. How'd they hit me? Okay, get on that thing. That makes it faster, faster right? Yes. <laughs> oh. I think I'm going to win again. I don't know. He's going to do I it. haven't lost yet. I don't understand Some why, because I stink at this game. Well, but you almost, you're not, you're doing pretty well. And you uh, almost got uh, second, so you like it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Nice. Hey, one. it's a Mario. It's a Koopa Troopa. It's a Koopa Troopa. So I beat all these people that stink. Laura and Laura. Sei Young now, and Ji Hoon and Jola. You. She came in close. Marit. I don't understand why I keep winning this game. I kind of like Marit as a sort of misspelling of Mario. Ma well, uh, uh. that reminds me of a hilarious tweet I saw. 
Where so if you like Mario Kart, and who doesn't, right? Yeah, right. It's a great game. Now I don't know if they've got the multiplayer thing going. I could, I can't. Honestly, it's not for me. I can't figure it out. But I gave you a little demo. But here's the thing. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna point this out. Okay, I played that game, right? That was nice. Mm -hmm. It's online only. It's gonna eventually. It's gonna cost me some some money. Or you can pay five bucks a month, get a hundred games in Apple Arcade, and play. <gasps> Sonic Racing, which is basically Mario Go, oh. with a hedgehog. No? I feel like someone's going to hurt you for that. I know somebody's going to hurt me for that, but really, as somebody who care, doesn't know the difference, me I could play offline or online. Oh, the, see, that's nice. There's a choice. The, all the arcade games, that's one of the things they did with arcade, right? Do you get bananas? You don't get bananas. Mm. But you get Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not the same. Can you play Tails? These are... You probably can earn the, the right to play Tails. See, there's Tails there. Tales. Welcome. Okay, <laughs> Here, be my mentor. let me interrupt your, your racing. I was going to do great. First, we need to win our first race. Okay. Please, would you stop? Oh. <laughs> Just touch one side of the screen to steer. Okay. Thought I, I thought the steering wheel was doing that. See, it's it's kind of... Wow, it looks like you know what you're doing. Yeah. yeah I do. You, you know, I just me. won a bunch of Mario races. I can adjust steering sensitivity later. All right. No. What the big purple thing called again? I forgot. The big purple thing. You keep giving me tests. No, Push. I wasn't asking you. <laughs> We're doing rings. Anyway, I you could like pay five is... bucks a month and get arcade. I think you're not as. Good and if you really one. want a racing game. All right, all right, all right. That's horrible. The way this is that tutorial. Doing this I'm tutorial. doing the tutorial. They yeah, shouldn't do that. My rival is winning. That's the only thing about the Mario is smart. You can't lose. In this game, you can actually lose, <laughs> which I think stinks. I, you know what? I'm so conditioned that that ring sound uh -huh. is so Pavlovian. I feel good when I hear it. Do you? Did you ever play Sonic? Yeah, I did. I loved um, the one on the Dreamcast. Yeah, that's the one I play. Where Sega. Sega. Da, 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 da. And you could take the little da, 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 da. ring. So I honestly feel like if you're gonna, if you want to play, you could play the plumber, or you can play the hedgehog. Mm -hmm. I think the hedgehog's a better deal. Look at the hedgehog. But I guess if you really are a Mario really, fan, which yeah. many people are, right? This well, is I'm a lip. big Mario Kart fan. Mario Kart in, on the console on the Switch is great. You can have you have four players. You can see what the other guys doing and stuff. I, as far as I could tell, what you get is what you just saw, which is just me, and then there's somebody, but he's behind me. I don't know where he is, so I don't know. Hmm. But there it is. Mario you can Kart play at least free, free for a while. Purchase. Uh, they haven't asked me for any money yet. <laughs> I don't know when that part starts. That's when you start losing. <laughs> yeah. Wait, no, they would want you to keep winning, yeah. Well, that's the thing. I Make think you feel I think real good. That's, I feel used a little bit because I cannot lose. Yeah. I've won four out of four. That is concerning. <laughs> it seems odd, given I've, you know, no experience. Mm. I'm just saying. Mario, Super Mario Kart is out. I know people are going to be very excited about that. Super Mar Mario Mario Sunshine. Kart Racing, right? That's what yeah. it's called. Uh, Mario Kart Tour. 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 It's uh, free to download. It is really fun. I mean, I think they've done a very nice job. And, of course, if you've played Mario Kart, you will recognize it. But, see, see I don't see anywhere that thing where you see four people on the screen. Yeah, what's going on? Uh, maybe there in that first picture you can see where the guy is behind you. I got to learn more about it. I don't know. I don't know. Mario Kart Tour. I all I, I you know, I I was going to you know I've been playing this for mm -hmm. like a week. I was going to uh, really learn how to do it, but then I just kept winning, so I <laughs> I don't need to learn. I don't need to learn. Yeah. Nothing to learn here. I'm brilliant. <laughs> Watch me go. <laughs> <laughs> Look, mom, no hands. So, Sonic Racing Mario Kart, you have your choice. Five dollars once. Well, in Ooh, both cases, both. five dollars a month, isn't it? Yeah, but one also gets you a bajillion the other games. Yeah, I love the bajillion the other games. Yeah, Although, including a new one, Hexagon. I think there's something. Yeah, they added the Hex, been added them. Uh, Hexaflip. Been yeah, Hexaflip. I saw that. And I've just been loving what the golf, which we've talked about. Isn't that about fun? Before. And you do it on the oh, TV. So fun. I love it, folks. That's it for iOS today. Today. I uh, hope you've enjoyed our lengthy uh, exploration <laughs> of, of many the, things of the world of iOS. <laughs> Um, we do this show around 9 a.m. Pacific. That's noon Eastern time. That's uh, 1600 UTC. Although I guess we're gonna 
we're gonna the time's gonna change at some point in the near future. Is it? Uh, when this does is the time to change? Me. Hey Siri. Oh, you mean when does the daylight savings time end? Saving time ends on Sunday, November 3rd. Oh, you got plenty of time. Yeah. So we're still 1,600 UTC. Prepare, start tracking your sleep before the uh, we fall back for the winter. Yeah, because then when you have an off auto accident on the Monday after, you can blame uh, uh, the time change. Who, the, who is the president who put it in? Roosevelt? Sure. Hoover? Yeah, definitely. I don't know. I think it was Lincoln. No, 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 no. It's recent. I, that was a joke. I think, I think it was Roosevelt. I think anyway. It, yeah. It was the turkey we pardoned that year that decided it, actually. Tom? <laughs> yeah, it was Tom. Yeah, I thought it was his uh, name. If you, if you want to watch the show, and I, God knows why you would, <laughs> you can uh, go to twit.tv slash live and watch live. Or, and or? by the way, the live show is about eight hours longer mm -hmm. than this long download. You can download it from twit.tv slash iOS. That's yes. where it lives. Or subscribe in your favorite podcast application. That's the best thing to do, and that way you'll get it And we should note that you can watch us on Twitter as well. We're broadcasting live there. On you can Periscope, watch Twitch, Mixer, yeah, all Twitch, over the place. You stream. So if you have a YouTube specific... YouTube live. But if you go to twit.tv like, slash live, that has all, all of them, right? Yeah. Including audio streams. You don't have to watch. You can ask... Your, I, this is my favorite way... And, uh, in fact, in the Twit community, we've been asking people, how do you listen? And a lot of people listen on their Amazon Echo or their Google Home. You could just say Echo, play Twit Live. Mm -hmm. It doesn't know how to say live. And then your bear will twerk and then it'll start. <laughs> and then you, you'll you'll be hearing whatever's going on live. And if it's a, a Tuesday morning, it might be us. Yeah. Probably will since we pretty much occupy the whole day. Oh, yeah, we, we would do the, you know, it's just sort of we're only given this much time or else we'd go all day. <laughs> This much time. Like, like a goldfish, <laughs> we expand to fit the tank we are in. That's Micah Sargent. And that is Leo Laporte. Star of iOS Today. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.